right. How's everybody doing? I like loud. How's everybody doing? Tell me by show of hands. When you saw the directions, who in here read the name Hansel the Street and thought, it's so hot right now. Zoolander, that's all I can think of. I'm the street, that's what I kept saying. Anyway, I'm so, so, so excited that I could do this. <laughs> Thank you, Chad, for my first. I'm so excited I could do this training in person since it's all going to be about being in person, face to face, and belly to belly, and all that stuff. So, um, my first thing I wanted to start off with saying was let me just flat out say from the beginning, there are so many great ways to build your business. Um, you need to do what works for you. So if what you're doing is working for you, keep doing it and don't stop. That's not what this is about. This is, um, you know, of course, as long as what you're doing is with integrity, uh, you know, otherwise, you know, flash bash. Um, but I want you guys to um, just take what I'm saying today as if, you know, there's so many different ways to work the business. Uh, and this is probably the core of the way to work the business and just in the past year and a half or two, those of us who have been in for several years, I think we've all started to kind of see this shift. So kind of take it back to basics. And the thing is, is that, again, if what you're doing works, keep doing it. But um, this is such a huge integral part of your business and it's super important. So um, I want to make sure to go over some really good stuff with you guys. I am huge building belly to belly. That is like my favorite way to build a business. So. Um, I want to encourage you guys to take notes tonight. Um, if it's working for you, say what you're doing with your business is working for you. And that's all you train your team to do. It might not be working for them. So that's kind of what I was taking into consideration when I started about thinking about doing this training, taking these notes. You know, if, you know, um, your thing is going out, you know, and, and talking to businesses, that might not be what somebody else's comfort zone is. Now, Grant, I want you to get out of your comfort zone. But if that's all you teach, you're not, you're leaving out bits and pieces. So, um, you know, make sure that you are teaching your team all the different ways, not just the way that works for you. Say, this is what I do and this is what works for me, but here's, you know, this, this, and this are other great ways to build your business. Um, you know, that's really what, like I said, what inspired me to do this training. Uh, May is going to be four years with the company. I'm super excited about that. And I kind of laugh and joke that I started building my business the old-fashioned way. Uh, I kind of feel like we're calling it old-fashioned now. Um, you know, I love using other tools of technology, um, but I consider them just that. I consider them to be tools. They are different ways to expand your network, but I don't get stuck using them. I see that happening a lot. You know, the world is my office, all right? When I think of my office, it's everywhere. It's the grocery store, it's the gas station, it's the bank, it's the school, it's the playground. Um, it's my, the world is my office. That's why I want you guys to look at things. You know, everything that you do to grow your business should always be leading you to the end result. So what is the, our main goal here? What's the main goal for us to do? To help people make money. Help people make money, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but what else? What, what, is the, what is our purpose? What is our purpose with what we, what is our end result? What is what we're always trying to stop to do? Get the wrap on people. Ah, that wrap, right? You want to get the wrap on people. Um, but also, too, enrolling customers, enrolling distributors, um, you know, and that's, but you kind of open that door with the wrap. You know, granted, and we've got a ton of phenomenal, amazing products, but at the end of the day, some of our great products can be gotten ever other places, right? Maybe they're not as great, I'm biased, but what can you not get anywhere? The wrap. The wrap is always the conversation starter. That's your door opener. That's why they say to leave with the wrap. A couple of years ago at a um, green, I think it was a green carpet training, and somebody, um, Pam was doing questions and answers out of the audience, and somebody said, were you guys ever going to make a blitz card for greens? And everybody's like, Whoa! I'm sitting there like, mm -mm. and she's just like, nope, next question. You know, and everybody's like, why? It's because that's not the main thing. You know, as amazing as they are, I think we all can, you know, say it's our green Kool-Aid and we can't go a day without them and everything. But you can get greens at GNC. Again, maybe not as fabulous as ours, but you can't get the rest. So that's why you always need the rest. That's the main thing. And that's kind of, you know, 
how you want to always, you know, be your end result. When I say end result, that's what I mean. Your end result is getting the wrap on the person. So with the wrap, why do we leave with the wrap? Because you get immediate results in 45 minutes. Nine out of 10 people will get good results. Sometimes we'll have those crazy jaw dropping. I can't even share that because it's so good results. But nine out of 10 people see results. That's pretty good odds, right? Um, you, again, I'm going to reiterate it. You can't get it anywhere else. Some people might try to wrap themselves in plastic wrap or put on five different lotions and whatever. Or you might see some weird infomercial at 3 a.m., you know, like kind of looking like ours, but it's not the same. You can't get anywhere else. Um, you don't want to let those, I consider those distractions. You don't want to let those things ruffle your feathers. Um, people are going to try to duplicate it. That's just kind of the, uh, as we say, the, what's that saying? Flattery is the, uh, a sincere form of, or not flattery, you know what I mean? Invitation, thank you, is the sincerest form of flattery because we got a hot item. Nobody else has. That's why they try to imitate it. But never fear, because that was one of my first things that freaked me out was like, that's what got me in this business. And what made me see the opportunity was the fact that here's a product that nobody else has. Because I had been involved with a different network marketing company, and that was the thing, that you could get the products anywhere as great as they were. So this was the thing. I'm just like, oh my gosh, what if somebody else creates one? But relax. It's patented. It's the technology that goes into it that makes it so unique. Nobody will ever be able to create a wrap. So we will never lose our golden goose, as we say. Um, you know, you need to understand um, the technology. Like I said, it's just a naturally active bot bot botanical lotion. But again, it's the technology that went into it that makes it so unique. Um, you know, don't waste valuable time worrying about those distractions. You might see that, or somebody will share a link. You know, some of your friends not in the business share a link of. You know, gasp, somebody, you know, what is this? Get skinny in, in 42 minutes. Oh my gosh, you know, give me a break. No, <laughs> so don't even worry about that, all right? Um, why is wrapping people important? I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys. Why do you think oh, wrapping people is important? Oh, Casey, Casey, Casey. Everyone doesn't know that Casey, Casey. <laughs> Um, I, one of the things for me is that I have them for 45 minutes. So, you know, it might not just be a matter of getting the wrap on them and then, you know, of course they have to see it to believe it. They need to try or, or they'll never know. But for me, I get 45 minutes and they get to learn a little bit about me. And that's 45 minutes of the party pad and not just that, but getting to know them and being a friend or maybe they need a new friend. So who doesn't want new friends, right? <laughs> I mean, sometimes we'll wrap people and you'll think, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that is so true. It's like, yes. 45 minutes is that. We'll have a great day. It was hard. It was hard. <laughs> but, you know, then I, you know, but she had great results. And if she signed up as a customer, great distributor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that one. Okay, well, answer me. Who wants a wrap? <laughs> As, yeah, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, everybody wants a wrap. You got skin, you need a wrap. I think I made a post about that a few months ago. Who our market is geared towards people with skin. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> I don't waste valuable time talking myself out of. They think I'm calling them fat, or maybe you know their turkey neck is showing. I don't care. No, everybody wants one. I don't care what you want to wrap. That's your business. But everybody wants one. As far as I'm concerned, um, age appropriate. <laughs> um, why? Because it is not my job to decide who wants this. It's not y'all's job to decide who wants this. Your job is to share it with them. Um, it's um, it's awesome. If you don't love the rap, then okay, I'm gonna stop myself right there. Oh, oh, that's my next question. <laughs> How many of you have done a full treatment? So a lot of you, we should raise your hand. <laughs> a lot of you have not done a full treatment. That's a lot of people who have not done a full treatment. So um, I started off as a loyal customer, and I saw immediate results with my first wrap. It was after my second wrap that I, my light bulb went off and said, okay, I got to do this. But it was doing the full treatment. My husband was just like, you know, oh, how many of those you have left? I'm like, oh, I got one more. He's like, I want it. I'm like, I got to do my, my full treatment. I do my big reveal. No. That's how I looked at it. I looked at it as a full treatment. Casey, when she first started posting about it, like my business page, this, that, and the other, and I reached out to her and asked how her daughter was because I didn't want her to know that I was interested in what she was doing. Um, so when she brought it up, she said, I just finished my full treatment. I just did my fourth wrap. 
let me send you my picture. I haven't shared it yet. Full treatment, boom. She didn't see results after her first one, second one, third one, fourth one. Her friend that wrapped with her had those crazy jaw dropping, you gotta be kidding me results, right? So I hear that a lot. You know, the wrap's great, but it's not my favorite product. Well, you need to wrap until it's your favorite product. I have a lot of favorite products, but the wrap is what changed my life. If you're not happy with your results, wrap until you are, or move on to a different body part. You're gonna find something that gets you excited and amazes you. Because here's the thing, we leave with the wrap, if you're not excited about that, what are you leading with? Stuff that you can find everywhere else. That's a problem. So, uh, I mean, and also too, you're pounding into people. What do you hear? I tried one and it didn't work. I tried one and it didn't work. Are you gonna have a leg to stand on? Oh, well, I tried one and it worked, or I tried one and it didn't work too. You know what I mean? Like, well, I tried one and I didn't see great results, but after my fourth, after my eighth, after my twelfth, after 102 reps, I saw results, <laughs> right? So that's what you, but you know, again, and when you have the, you don't have those immediate results. What it takes you for us, it took Alicia eight wraps, or is it nine, eight or nine wraps, eight wraps, and she's a presidential diamond. What if she had stopped at one or four and said, you know, this would be great if it worked for you, it didn't. She kept, she saw it, she's like, I'm going to get some results. I'm going to be happy with those. Eight wraps to see a difference. Wrap until you see a difference. That's what I tell my customers. So you're not going to have anything to, to share with them. This is about consulting and sharing. You're not going to have a story. You're not going to have anything to share with them about how long it took you to see results. Or, if you even saw results after one, why it's important to do the full treatment, right? So that's super, super important. So any of you who have not done a full treatment yet, I highly encourage you to get on that. But when I say full treatment, that's doing one wrap every 72 hours for 12 days. Not wrapping this month and wrapping in April and <coughs> I need to wear a bikini in July, I'll wrap in July. So do it like that, okay? Um, that. Can you, oh, this is a really good, so I was talking about, you know, again, my passion and excitement comes from this wrap. I love all the other products, but the wrap, you know, got me out of, you know, strategically dressing myself. It got me out of, you know, turning to plastic surgery when working out alone was not enough to tighten my loose skin. That's where my passion comes from. That's how, when I work my business belly to belly, that's how I start with people. Does that thing work? Heck yeah, it does. Take out my phone. This is what it did for me. Whoa. Even if it's a complete stranger, I still do that with people. And I'm passionate about it. I want to share that with people because that's awesome and exciting. You know, whatever, again, whatever it is that you got out of it, be excited and passionate about it. Can you imagine a dentist telling his clients to brush and floss his teeth if he's not doing that himself, right? Or a personal trainer telling you how to get results if they're not doing it themselves. If they're saying they're eating a Big Mac and telling you to do more crunches, right? <laughs> or don't eat carbs. Um, or a chef teaching you how to cook and they don't cook. Or somebody managing a restaurant and telling you how great it is and they don't eat there. It's the same scenario. Throw in every, anything you can think of there. You guys are a rapologist, right? You're a rap girl, a rap guy. Um, you've got to be a product of the product. So, to be able to say, again, you know, like I, I didn't see results until X, Y, Z. Um, you need to be able to share your personal testimony. That right there is what launched me. That right there is what I shared my getting box of wraps before I even started wrapping. Just sharing your personal testimony is huge. Your friends and family, you've probably heard this before, they don't buy what you do. They buy why you do something. So if you're sharing this because you love what it did for you, that's what's going to attract them to what you're doing. If you are just simply, I signed up because I wanted to make money, try these wraps, here's a friend of a friend of a friend's results, here's my sister's cousin's brother's results. That's nice, but they don't know those people. They know you. They want to support you. They want to see what you're excited about. And again, you're not going to get that excitement unless you're product of the product. So, you know, Again, my personal testimony with the results is what has been a huge thing for me. Um, you know, again, when, I, when I'm blitzing um, or at events or at rap parties, even if it's a new person, a complete stranger, which usually if I'm blitzing them, they're a complete stranger. I don't normally blitz my friends. Um, you know, it's, it's still more relatable than a, the, the, the picture on, on the blitz card, right? Because you're a real flesh and blood human being standing in front of them, and they can see what it did for you. So something that I've done is um, taken, um, yeah, I think that's my notes. I don't want to skip ahead. Sorry. i got to stay on track. I get all over the place. That's why I keep this in front of me. Um, always leave with the wrap. 
Um, you know, keep wrapping until you love it. You know, all of our products are fantastic. Um, you know, so don't don't not love all the products. Love everything. Find out what you love the most, but leave it the wrap all the time, all the time, all the time. So um, let's talk about wrap parties. Who likes to do wrap parties? I hated them in the beginning. Kind of blew over there. <laughs> I hated them too. I hated it because I hated the word party. I hated getting invited to the party. I could feel my skin just crawling as soon as I got those notifications of somebody else's party. I'm like, oh gosh, here I go. I'm going to feel obligated to go to somebody's house and buy some product that I don't want, but I'm going to feel bad because if I don't, they're not going to get there. You know, I've spent $500 so they get something for free for $5, whatever. I hated it. I hated the word party. I hated doing it. I love that we weren't a party based business. But guess what? I've kind of come to love rap parties. Rap parties because they're different. You know, they're, they're different than regular parties. It's casual and laid back. Um, all you have to have really on hand is wraps and water. It's fun. And if it's not fun, you're not doing it right. And that's what I want to talk about here. So um, why do you guys think the wrap parties matter? Because they're our best product. Absolutely. So that's slinking down in your seat, Ashley. I want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> people can see other people's results. That's a really good one. Yeah. That's you, really good. You get the wrap on people that you would have never known if the host or the brand hadn't had invited them. So this is this is networking, right? Networking. You want to expand your network. And while social media is an amazing way to expand your network, you still can't forget about wrap parties being an amazing way to expand your network. Because think about it. You know the host, and they're probably going to invite four to five people that you don't know. Four to five people in your cold market. Boom. Right there. Um, wrap cash, all right? Crystal, speaking your language over here. <laughs> you love wrap cash, don't you? Okay, so what about wrap cash, right, guys? I mean, that's pretty awesome that you can make cash immediately. Hand somebody, uh, to get back. They hand you cash, then you hand them wrap, right? Um, you know, when I worked for a different um, network marketing company, and again, I love the products. I would never talk bad about it, but the thing is, is that when I had a party, I would have all this product that I had to have for all these different people, and I remember the last one that I did, I had like, I don't know, 15 people, and the host was making a big deal about how her dad said she could have whatever she wanted, and da 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 all these people came, and all these people showed up, and guess what I left there selling one, like, $15 product, and I was like, I've had it, I'm done, this is absolutely ridiculous. When I have a wrap party, I can have four people there, and maybe nobody will sign up as anything, but I'm walking away with 100 bucks in my pocket, right? That's a huge thing. Wrap cash is huge. We all want to have cash. Um, you know, why else do you guys think wrap parties are important? Because even if they don't wrap, which the last two parties I've been to, no one wrapped, but every one of them signed up as a customer or a distributor. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it just takes hearing about the other product and being able to see you in your element, or maybe it's out of your comfort zone, but you're there anyway. Um, so I mean, that it's important get people there. Whether they now I'm like I don't care if they want to wrap or not, just whoever is willing to fill the room to support you. That happened my very first wrap party ever. Casey went with me, and it was here in Orlando, and. Almost everybody wrapped, and one of the people that's the one person who didn't wrap still signed up as a customer. Same thing. So even if you're not leaving as wrap with wrap cash, you're leaving with customers. Yes, ma'am. Also, your return is faster than on social media. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, have a oh yeah, I got a chance of getting the customers to sign then. They see your enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. They're, they see that you're passionate. On the keyboard, you can only do so many emojis and <laughs> show your passion, but face to face, they feel they feed off of that because they're like, oh my gosh, I want that. And some emojis are different for different phones. You might be thinking you're sending like a big happy face, and really you're sending like the little finger. So you know, you gotta be careful with that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you're doing a wrap party, if someone else is hosting, chances are, again, it's gonna be people from your cold market, like I, I said earlier. If you have four people wrapping, that's a hundred dollars right up front. And here's a tip for you when it comes to rap parties that I do. And I even do this with one-on-ones. I tell people, um, if you bring a friend, 
I'll give you $5 off for every friend that you bring, not just the host. I tell them to tell their friends. For every friend you bring, you're getting $5 off. So if you bring five friends in here, you're wrapping for free too. And guess what? That's five more people. But of course, they have to try a wrap just because they brought somebody. No, they need to get a discount and they need to wrap. Um, but that's a really good tip for you. So, um, you know, this, this really appeals to all the color personalities when you do that. So, of course, my team is like, oh, God, here she goes, color personalities. But, again, it's really true. Um, so it appeals to the reds because they're getting a good deal. They're getting a discount. They're like, heck, yeah, that's less money that's coming out of my pocket. It appeals to the blues because they're like, woo, more people to party with, right? It appeals to the yellows because they're like, oh, that's five more friends that I can help and they can benefit from this. And greens, I don't know what you're thinking, but you're probably <laughs> overanalyzing it and figuring out, you know, there's something to get down to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like figuring out percentages and all that, right? So, um, you know, when uh, when people are wrapped, that is when you talk about the other products. That's when you talk about loyal customer. That's when you talk about distributor options. Um, so, same with the one-on-one -on -one wrap appointments. Um, and that's exactly what I do with one-on-one -on -one wrap appointments, too. Again, that's another great way to get more people if they don't want to have, they're like me, don't want to party more or anything like that. You're not saying the word party. The word party never comes out of my mouth. I just say one-on-one -on -one rep appointment. Do you have some friends who might be, you know, interested in this too? And then tell, come. I'll, I'll give you, you know, I'll give you five dollars off your twenty-five dollar wrap for everybody who comes. Yeah, right. Um, one time I talked to this girl about having a party, and she was like, "No, I don't want to do a party. I want to do a party." I was like, "Okay, how about you? Just you, you can wrap." And she was like, "Okay, sounds good." And then I was like, "Well, if you bring a friend or two, you can get five dollars off." She ended up bringing like. Six or seven people. I was like, thank you for the wrap party, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to word it differently. You just have to word it differently. You have to feel more comfortable. Like, she literally it. had a wrap party with yeah. me. Yeah. Because again, when you hear a lot of people, like I said, I can relate to that. When you hear the word party, you immediately think yeah. like obligation and things I don't want. <laughs> so true. It's so true. So don't even use that word. So I still brought it up though. Bring a friend and you can use this mm -hmm. She was probably a red. <laughs> yeah, right. Or blue. <laughs> right. Or yellow. Um, so, uh, you know, those 45 minutes when you have somebody wrapped, um, that's that's important. Those the 45 minutes that you sit down, and especially if you don't know that person, get to know them, start asking questions, find out what their goals are and whatnot. Um, you know, regardless if I'm doing a um, if I'm doing a one-on-one uh, -on -one or a wrap party, I always follow the party pack because it keeps me on track. But again, you're going over things. You know, just because you've heard it a million times, they've never heard it before. So don't leave that. That goes in my bag with me everywhere I go. I always whip it out because, again, I, I, so I have notes and everything. i got to stay on track. It keeps me on track. Um, and I always say I'm probably going to cover all the – you are more than likely going to cover all their questions they have when you go through with that. Um, you know, yeah, of course. Yeah. The party pad, if you are not going over it, you are doing yourself a huge disservice. And the reason why, yeah, it is well. <laughs> the reason why is because what I started to realize is years ago we didn't have a party bag. There's a few of us in here that had nothing. I don't know what we did. I don't remember. We had we had a, a different kind of catalog, but I feel like it was longer. Or <laughs> so you know, the party pad. If, if you're not a red, maybe you're like me, and I don't really care to talk about my income. But that person might be a red and maybe they want to hear about it. So the party pad kind of forces you to show them the income chart. And it, it, it makes you talk about, you know, the loyal customer program and joining the party. So the party pad kind of covers every, and I hate that it's called a party pad personally. I'm like, here's the party, join the party. I'm like, ah, oh, the party word. Um, but it's going to cover all the different personality colors if you go through it the way that you know and it does keep you on track so it does absolutely. but it, it does force you to kind of go over every first it'll cover something for each yellow green red and blue mm -hmm. it does that's why they designed it that's why they made that tool for us to utilize there's a purpose behind it so um here's some tips for rap parties for those of you guys who don't do rap parties or you're making some fresh ideas um rap parties hands down no matter what you do have got to be duplicatable so what that means is keep it simple. Um, don't do games. Don't complicate things with point systems and hostess rewards. And there, it's been a while, but things always seem to rear their ugly heads. And one of them is that awful 
mile long list of this many people that buy this much product, you get this much of a hostess reward. Oh my gosh, it makes my head spin. Um, because somebody just created that. That's a perfect example of somebody trying to reinvent the wheel. Oh, but I wanted something because I wanted hostess rewards. Their hostess reward is a free wrap. That's their hostess reward is a free wrap. And if they want to become a distributor, then they're going to probably get some free product too. So don't overcomplicate things. That is not, again, the point of doing parties. It's to keep it simple and look duplicatable. Um, people need to be sitting there watching you thinking, I can do that. I can do that. That's easy. I can do that. Um, you know, I have had a lot of people who wanted to bring a pop out, you know, like technology and put stuff on their iPad on the projector screen. And that's really cool. And I'm like, if you want to, if you've got the technology to do it, go for it. Just make sure you say, this is not necessary. I just wanted this because I have a new toy and I want to play with it. You know, I always tell them to put that out there. Because then I want somebody to sit there and go like, oh my gosh, I can't afford a projector. I can't afford an iPad. Oh, my, my party's not going to be fancy enough. I can't do this. You know, same thing. I use literally all the products but two between me and my husband. So I bring all the products that I have. And the first thing I say, I have everything because I use everything. And that's why it's here. Now granted, we'll go over some more stuff about that what's good to have. But I always make it a point to say that because I don't want anybody to sit there and look at that and think, oh my gosh, I have to have all that product in stock. It's just in stock because I use it. Um, so just make sure things are duplicatable. Hosts. Make sure that you communicate with your host and tell them to provide water, and that's it. I had a wrap party, which turned out, turned out fantastic. But I got there, and she was frying chicken and peach cobbler and biscuits oh and macaroni and cheese. I'm going, oh, my God. And they're all sitting there, and they got their plates, and they're just eating it. I'm just like, ah. Everybody had phenomenal results, and it was great. But I was just like, no, you're not supposed to do that. So make sure they know, because they think hosting a party, I need to cook, and I need to do this. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. So to reiterate, and what I tell people is if you want to get a fruit tray and cheese tray or you want to make some cookies or whatever, bring it out after we take off the wrap. Let me get people there and wrap them. While they're wrapped, I'll sit down and explain stuff. And after we take off wraps, everybody's going to be sharing their results and talking and looking at the catalogs, bring out the food then so we can munch while they talk, not before. And I've never had somebody argue with me on that. Um, so, but make sure you communicate that with the host because the first thing they want to do is start providing all that stuff. Um, and again, like I've, I've had a party like that, people had great results, but I know me and my body, if I like <laughs> I had a bite of a granola bar and I feel like this now, you know, so I blow it up no matter what. And so you don't want somebody to have their results, you know, not looking as good as they could because they just, you know, inhaled three pounds of food. So, um, uh, Best products to have for wrap parties, wrap stuff, and facial wraps. Facial wraps are really good to have on hand. Within the last, actually, the last launch party I did, I brought my facials, and two people ended up wanting to do a facial. So people, like Casey said, are there to hear and listen and maybe think about it, but they just are not really comfortable if they're, you know, wrapping something on their body. But they hear facial, and they're like, oh, I don't have to strip down for that, you know, and they can put a facial on. So it's always good to have them on hand. For a while there, it felt like I couldn't give facial wraps away, and lately they've been a hot commodity. So um, have them in stock. Put two boxes of wraps on your auto shipment. There you go, a box of wraps and a box of facials for you to sell every single month. Greens. Who in here does not drink greens? Come on, I think we pretty much all drink greens, right? Raise your hands. Anybody? Who drinks yes, greens? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Greens, you already drink them, right? So pretty much like everybody raised their hand. Everybody's got greens. Take your greens with you. I had, um, I'm going to go over, I don't want to get into that, but greens are always fantastic to have because people like to taste. They like to touch. They like to smell. They like to laugh that it looks like swamp water to taste delicious, right? <laughs> and they're going to drink it and leave their usually feeling pretty good. So get the greens. Fat fighters, if you've got them on hand, do a live demo. That's an awesome product to have on hand. They're $23, so if you crush up two here and there, you know, if you're not losing a lot. I, I never feel like I'm losing money. I'm like, oh, no, there goes 25 cents down the drain, you know? <laughs> so if you don't, there's plenty of YouTube videos. You know, I had them on hand because I, that was one of the first uh, products I got as a loyal customer and thought that they were cool, and I, I wanted to see it, how it worked, too. But if you don't, it's okay. YouTube, use that technique technology to bring it up and I've done that before when I've been out of them or forgot them or whatever I pulled it up on YouTube and nobody knew the difference um, fab wrap if you have it is fantastic for wrapping arms and necks especially 
and usually legs because that big giant saran roll we get in ten people's legs is really awkward. And so fat wrap is great for that. But again, something not necessary, but something great to have on hand. And especially when people ask, well, what is this? It's great to say, here it is, feel it, look at it, smell it if you want to, you know, whatever. Um, it's going to have it on hand again. Um, defining gel is a fantastic thing to have on hand as well. Um, again, that's kind of something that comes with a lot of the packs. So it's good. I like to let people smell it. I give them a teeny little drop, rub it on their arms um, or their neck. Some people rub it on their boobs. Whatever they want to do, you know, whatever you want to be like, Go have at it. There's no on your face. But it's good, again, so they can smell it, feel it. They like it. Um, with, I'm leaving out one product. I'm going to see if anybody can guess what it is. Yes. Wow. And some people say we need to rename that holy because <laughs> everybody, again, why is wow such a hot commodity right now? It's instant. It's instant. It just like, I mean, it's even faster than the wrap. The wrap, that's pretty darn amazing. See results in 45 minutes. Every single person that I have wowed has said holy, every single person, or wow. Yes. And I have a question yeah. about the wow. Yes. How do you not get that substance on your face? Oh, oh, okay. So I, <laughs> really embarrassing if I wowed my, my uh, son's um, front desk lady and she had these ridiculously awesome results and all of a sudden start going, White, 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 white. She was wearing makeup. Don't put it on over makeup. If they're wearing makeup, and I told some the last time I was with him, like, oh, we were doing like a, a training, so she didn't have anywhere to go, and it was okay, but I was so embarrassed. So I'm like, I'm just gonna use like a little teeny bit. No, it started whitening up like around her mouth. It was really bad. So if they're wearing makeup, and if you have cleanser on hand, get them to use the cleanser to wash their face off. Put on what is the best to use after moisturizer if you use moisturizer. But if so you, are, you can't apply makeup at all? Afterwards. Wait like a few minutes, like 15 minutes or so. I used it in the morning, waited a few minutes for it to dry, put on makeup, no problem. The white is usually because of dry skin and yeah. too much like, gel on the area. Yeah, like 10 minutes I think is a good window. That's about how long I wait because I'm usually rushing around in the morning. Hot mess mom for those saw the video. Um, <laughs> you know, so like 10 minutes is a really good window. But definitely, the two times that I put it on over makeup is when it's whited up. Um, also, and yeah. I was just about to say that. The first time I used it, I was like, this is, I think I said Ashley the results. I'm like, I can't share this. I look worse. I didn't massage the packet. So, you know, Alicia's right. You got to massage, massage, massage the packet. When you open it up and squeeze it out, it should be pink. If it's not pink, you didn't massage it good enough. So. Yeah. 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 Rinse off your face, you know, if you have a moisturizer with you, put that on, but make sure they wash their face to avoid that white. And give them that tip. That's a really good tip to tell them. But there is not one person that I have wowed that did not immediately say, how do I get more? That's the next rep. First is wow or whatever else explicit they use. And then how do I get more? Everyone said that. Absolutely have wow at your parties. If you have nothing else, you don't even have wraps. How the wow? That stuff is phenomenal. It's a game changer. Wow the wraps, those two things right there. Um, you know, it's important to have those things there because, again, and I mentioned it before, people like to touch and feel and try and, and, you know, kind of try before they buy kind of a thing. They can only do that at a wrap party. They can't try things after attending an online party, which are great. Don't not use those, <laughs> but don't let it replace doing an in-person party. Because people want to try the greens first. Maybe they like the orange. They're weird like me, and they're team orange. You know what I mean? Um, you know stuff like that. So it's not necessary. Again, it is not necessary to have an arsenal of product, but it helps. Put it on your auto shipments. Always have wraps on hand to sell. But don't think it's necessary. But absolutely, wraps, wraps, wraps all the way. Um, there's all kinds of different parties you can have besides just wrap parties. You can have wine and wow parties. That's a really fun one, especially for the, you know, the blues in, in particular. Um, quick details on that. I would have the host maybe pick out two different wines if you want to provide the wine or have them provide the wine and you bring the wow. However you want to work that out is up to you. But have like a red and white wine, 
or maybe like a, just a couple different ones to choose from. Have the wow, have them come over. Because that's something that you can kind of have with, you know, a drink and it's not going to affect the results by looking around. Um, or even facials and, and wine nights. Again, that's something that's kind of fun to do. Change it up a little bit. Um, free sample parties. Absolutely one of the best parties I have ever done. And I've only had one and my ambition to do like 50 next month. Um, when you do a free sample party, products you can have on hand, it's essential bars, um, berry and orange greens, again, because it's important for people to try and see which one they like better. Profit, chocolate and vanilla. Again, I use all this, that's why I had all this stuff. Um, I used that Profit, I made shakes with it. I just mixed it with almond milk. I didn't go crazy with fruits and all that. And I always liked the vanilla, and the person that was there liked the chocolate. Um, and I also made profit cookies with it. I think Corinne had a party and she, or, or an event and she made the protein balls and they were a huge hit. You can find all those great recipes um, on, on, if you Google it, brownies. You can make amazing brownies with the chocolate profit. Wow. Energy, because again, that's something they can drink. Defining gel. And of course, you always have wraps on hand to sell. Um, that was probably, like I said, one of the best parties I've ever had. And again, if you don't have all that product, you can get all these people you have that are local. Team up with a sideline or somebody on your team and, you know, combine the products that you do have and offer it to people. Because if you're giving out little samples, you're not going to lose money. Why? Because people are more likely to buy it because they liked it. They got a chance to try it. Well, now that I know I like it, I'm going to go on ahead and order so don't look at it as I'm giving product away and I'm not getting anything back. You're, you're going to be more than likely to sign up some customers and whatnot that way. Um, you give out samples anyway. Like I give out wow and, and very and greens on the go samples all the time. So why not make it a bigger event? Um, what's the most important party you could ever have? Launch, Launch parties. This is like, ooh, this is going to be a hot button for me. Um, it seems like nobody's launching anymore. And it's crazy, like when we got started, like that was the thing. As soon as you got started, you set the date for the launch party immediately. And I was talking to a distributor yesterday, it was, I think it was yesterday, and she was talking, they got like six distributors that had enrolled and weren't doing anything. My first question, I don't anyone hear their names. Did any of them have a launch party? <coughs> no, none of them had a launch party. That, I'm just like, well, there's the problem right there. Of course they're not running. I have no idea what... What to do? That sets the tone. I firmly believe launch parties set the tone. I didn't technically have a launch party. You know, it was in Tallahassee and, and Casey was here. So I enrolled, I think, six or seven customers in my first 30 days. I'm just from posting on Facebook and talking to my friends. And that party I mentioned earlier was the first rap party I ever did, and Casey was there to help me with it. But I still did a party. So I kind of consider that kind of like a launch party for me. But it doesn't matter. Launch parties set the tone, and here's why. When you do a launch party, your, your new distributor is going to get their customers. They're going to see in person how to use the <coughs> They're going to get a chance to wrap people, and somebody mentioned earlier the excitement of seeing other people getting results. They're not going to experience that if they don't have a launch party. Wrap cash, you make back their investment when they have a launch party. Um, you get four wraps with your kit, no matter what. I think uh, my husband used two, I sold one, and I used one. But again, I, I didn't have a problem getting my customers. Um, and again, I was already excited about the product because I had already tried it. Not everybody tries it before they sign up. Not everybody starts off as a customer before they sign up and are familiar with things. So even if nobody shows up to launch parties, it's a chance to sit there with your new distributor and do a one-on-one -on -one training. I've had a million parties where nobody showed up. And we just turn it into a training. doesn't matter who shows up, even if one person shows up. Um, I, I can't stress it enough to only do an online party. I see that happening. Well, they're, on, they're out of state. They're not local to me, so we're going to do an online wrap party. That's great. Do an online launch. The last people I've launched, we've done both because you have to do an in-person wrap party for those reasons I just listed off. Listed off. Getting their investment back. That way they're not feeling like they're losing anything. They're almost guaranteed to get their first customers or maybe a distributor or two out of it. They're going to see how to wrap people, how to use the party pad, hear you talk, see excitement from other people trying the products. It's things you're not going to get just from an online wrap party. 
if they have a lot of people who couldn't make it because they live out of town, have the online wrap party. Do both. Do not stop launching people. Um, if your person is is out of state, out of town, whatever, that's where technology comes into play. You've got FaceTime. You've got Google Hangouts. You've got Skype. You've got Zoom. You've got all this wonderful technology at your hands for you to be there. So they can see your face and you can go through the party pad for them. You can talk about things for them. The distributor got their kit. They've got four wraps. They just need to get them on people. That's their job to get the people there and wrap people. And then you can help by being there via technology to tune in and help them how to do everything. But, you know, don't limit your new distributor. You are limiting them by not launching them. You're not setting them up on the best foot by not launching them. Um, whether you had, a, like I said, I didn't have a launch party, so whether you had one or not does not matter. You know, it sets the tone, and you're setting your new distributor up with the best possible start. I see so many people start. I was going through my e-suite yesterday just looking, because I've got a lot of questions getting ready to happen, and looking through, and I've seen, I mean, I can't even come up with a number of how many distributors, names that I saw, enrollment date, a month, two months, three months ago, and customer count zero, zero volume, zero, 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 zero. And I'm like, I guarantee almost every single one of these people got signed up and never had a launch or anything. And that's, you know, as, as much as it is our responsibility when you sign up and you, you know, you buy the business and everything like that, you don't know you're new. You don't have a direction of where to go and what to do unless you're super green and you're in there reading all the details. Not everybody is going to start this fired up, ready to run, ready to hit the ground running. I sure as heck wasn't. I'm sure Casey was just like, oh, God, this is going to be a 400 box for me. You know, because I flat out said I had absolutely no interest in building a team. She told me to look at the diamond chart and compensation plan, and I told her it turned me off. No, I knew she would do well because <laughs> she posted a picture of the box when she got it as a customer, and everyone was like, what is that? And I'm yeah. like, oh, my God, there's a <laughs> <laughs> box. But everyone loves Nina and what she's doing, and the box is so exciting. It was. Of course, I told everybody to go to Casey because that was when I was a customer. But um, but again, like, um, and what did I say? Because that's a good point. She said to me, you know, those people commenting could be your customers. And then I shot her down 50 ways of why I would never do this and don't ever ask me again. And I don't want to take business from you and, you know, all that because I said, in my experience, my sister signed me up, and I became her competition, and it was horrible. So I'm like, here Casey was, you know, for those of us don't, those of you who don't know me and Casey, met at Cowboys on the dance floor <laughs> with our love of Cowboys and beer and like, you know, music, but country music, but that's how we met. And then I even got married and stationed up in Minnesota. We kept in touch via MySpace at the time, and then Facebook, <laughs> and then we, uh, I'm just showing her age, and then we got, she pregnant at the same time, and I posted that I was pregnant, and she, and she messaged me and, and said she was pregnant too. I hadn't announced it yet. Well, it was both, both of our daughters. She was two weeks ahead of me in pregnancy. We shared that pregnancy from day one. We got sick and better at the exact same time. We got a cold at the same time. We felt the baby moved the same day. We found out within days that we were both having girls. You know what I mean? Like, we shared that pregnancy and really bonded. And here's Casey not wanting to go back to work, making nursery letters to this day my Brielle hangs in my room that Casey painted because she was trying to find ways to make money. So I'm just like, she's a stay-at-home mom like, like me and wants to make extra money. The last thing I want to do is to make business from her because that was my experience. So when she said that, first of all, I didn't want anything to do with network marketing and I didn't want to sell nothing, blah, blah, blah. This was not for me. And so that was the first thing I said to her. Like, I, I've actually gone back and screenshotted it at one point and posted it and see why this is so funny. Because it was like, oh, don't ever ask me again. Here's why. And then, of course, I had to put my foot in my mouth two weeks later after trying the wrap. And, you know, actually, I do kind of want to take business from you. No. <laughs> but I did um, call her on the phone because I did shoot her down three different ways. And I felt that and made it so much about her. I didn't want to take business from her. But she posted something. When I signed up as a customer, she had me enroll underneath her new distributor. Can you wait a second? I am enrolling a new distributor, and I want you to be her first customer. And I was like, wow, really? You guys, like, help each other out like that? Because in, in my, you know, experience, it was like, don't you dare talk to somebody's person, you know? So I was completely dumbfounded by that. And I kept seeing things, and she kept posting things that made me realize that they all work together. And I'm like, hypothetically, huge, hypothetical, big, giant, capital I, capital F, 
if I decide to do this with you. I'd be benefiting you and not taking business from you. Oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. This would help me so much. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, let me think about it. Um, and then, you know, I was like, that was kind of the thing for me because I was like, I found a product, can't get anywhere else. And at the time, nobody I, in my area had ever heard of it before. It is still, you know, just now starting to kind of become, people have heard about it now. Maybe they haven't tried it, but maybe they've heard about it back then. Nobody ever heard about it, let alone tried it. So I saw the ground floor opportunity, and which it still is, by the way. And then not being Casey's competition, all those things together is what really tied in for me. Um, getting back on track. <laughs> this is why I have my notes here. Uh, I don't even remember what I was talking about before, but that's okay. Um, you know, basically um, setting up your your new distributors for the best start possible. I'm so tired of seeing people sign up and quit, and have never gotten the rap on somebody. That happens. It's been happening a lot in the past year and a half, and that's awful. I think I made a video about it, you know, a, a few weeks ago or whatever, because it's just sad. It should not. That should never happen. Um, but again, you know, it's exciting, especially during this, this time right now with big promotions on the line. You're trying to sign people up and do all this. You can't let somebody down on your fifth or sixth level that was a 400 box to fill slip through the cracks. You know, you've got to make sure to take care of the people that you're bringing into this business. And again, step one, as soon as I enroll somebody, I pull out the calendar and say, all right, we're doing your launch party, and you've got to do it within the next two weeks. You're going to get your kit in a few days. Look at this weekend. How does that weekend look for you? You've got to set it for them. Don't say, okay, well, you do a launch party for you. Okay, and then drop it. Be proactive. Throw out dates, whether they're local or not, that you're available, that you can help them, whether that's in person or Skype or whatever. I've had Casey, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> I've had Casey help me when it was somebody local here and I was not available to go and do something for me. So reach out. We are so lucky to have that layered leadership. Our team is so special when it comes to one team, one mission. You know, everybody here really, truly loves each other and cheers each other on, you know, to help each other out. So reach out, you know, take advantage of what you have here, but don't let your people fall through the cracks. And again, that's got to start making that your number one priority when you enroll a new distributor is to launch them properly, and that is with an in-person launch party. So when you do set up an online wrap party for an event, um, don't just set up the thing and let them send out invites. They've got to contact people. They need to get them on the phone. They need to text them, send them private messages. They need to reach out to people. Um, I've had somebody recently, um, there's some other company, um, network marketing company, I'm pretty sure going around, and they're brilliant, but they're, they're all about online parties. But they're brilliant because they have their people reach out before they even send them an invite and say, this is what I'm doing, da 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 da, -da. this is the date, it's online, can I send you an invite? That's really smart. I really like that because it's more thoughtful for one, and I'm all about being thoughtful. <laughs> Um, but again, it gets the conversation going rather than people see that there's so many different notifications they're getting <laughs> sent all the time, party this, event that, da, 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 they're not paying attention. So taking the time, and it takes extra time, but it's worth it, to make it personal will go a long way. Um, okay, getting back to the rap party. So say you're at a rap party, right? This was a huge thing for me. Me and Alicia were just joking about it. Out there we were saying we're happy that Crystal's the one taking the money because me and Alicia would be like, you didn't pay? It's okay, go sneak in. You know, it's like, it's, it's awkward. Chris was like, where's your money? Where's your money? You know, but for somebody like me, it was really awkward. And I would definitely have moments where I would, like, be much more comfortable letting somebody go without paying than asking for money. Stop doing that. Because you know why? They know they're there to try a rat for $25. They know why they're there. So I learned from some corporate events, watching them do a party up front. When people walk in the door, you ask for the money. Get over yourself. I had to get over myself, and it was really hard. But I'll tell you what's even more hard and more awkward is when you're sitting there, and they're ready to place an order as a loyal customer for $59 for wraps and pay you $25. They're like, wait a minute, $25 for this and another $59? Once they've paid it at the door, it's done over with. They've kind of forgotten about it. Now they're excited to order more stuff. So it's more awkward to wait. Trust me on that. So start off by when they walk in, greet them. It's so nice to meet you, I'm Nina. Um, don't say that, say your name. And say, <laughs> <laughs> and if you do, um, when you do that, say, what are you rapping? Don't say, are you rapping? What, what, what did you want to rap? I, I don't even give them an option. What do you want to rap today? 
what arm? Do you want legs? Do you want stomach? Do you want bags? Whatever, you know. Throw it out there and see what they want and say. And they kind of, uh, oh, um, you can wrap anything from the neck down, and I've even got facial wraps. Um, and those are $25 too. Yeah. I like to have a glass jar on the table because then they can see, oh, this is where we're putting the money. Let me go ahead and put mine in here. You don't really have to ask for it. That's nice too. It is. They, I think that it works store. I don't think they still have it. Sold yeah. a jar. At one point, yeah, it works on there. Yeah. So it's good. It's going to have it there. And, and Red, like, Ashley loves it because then you can see all the money go there. <laughs> and they all, I think the store also has the signage sheets. The yeah, signage sheets are awesome. Very helpful because if, you, if someone comes and then they don't sign up as a little customer, you've you got have their information. information. And it's great for big parties. Mm -hmm. When it gets confusing and somebody leaves and you are not paid by it, absolutely. Yeah. It's oh, really helpful. Super helpful. And they're super inexpensive. Super helpful to have. It's an amazing tool. But ask for it. They say I want to wrap my summit. Okay. It's just twenty. It's, it's only twenty five dollars. Did you want to pay me cash? And I have a little square reader. I can take cash or I can take a card. Um, and then they do it right then. Again, they know they're there and spend twenty five dollars on a wrap. And if they say no thanks, I really just want to sit listen. Awesome. Sit over there and we take somebody else's money. Right? So, um, no, not really. But, you know, but you want to get it out over the way. I've been doing that. It has not been as awkward as I thought it was going to be. And I'm still alive. So, obviously, it hasn't killed me yet. Um, <laughs> you know, getting that out of the way, as soon as they hand you the money to cash over, hand them the wrap, wrapped up in the thing. Um, you know, give everybody, I got some good tips if you were not at um, a conference. Ooh, ooh, the first thing. Um, you know, again, as soon as they get there, you put the wrap on them as soon as they get there. Because if you let, oh, God, I've had some parties where it's just like, they just, yeah, 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 yeah. and as soon as you start talking, they start laughing and talking over you and drinking more and eating more and drinking more. And at this point, you're just like, I'm just talking to myself. This is great, you know. So you want to get them wrapped as soon as they get there. there sometimes I've had people start asking me questions the second they walk in the door. How does this work? What? How much is it? If I want more. What do I need to do? I'm like, I'm gonna. I don't answer them. I say I'm gonna answer all your questions. Let's get you wrapped first. Don't start answering their questions because then more questions are gonna follow. Get them wrapped. It, and especially if you have a big party of over four to five people, it could take like an hour to get the wrap on everybody. Easy. So by the time you're done wrapping people, somebody else is like, my 45 minutes is off. You know. Um, so make sure you get that done first. And now what we're gonna, what are we gonna utilize now? We have our super tips. I think it's so cool. If you have not used it yet, it is the coolest thing ever. I've been playing with it. I got to use it on somebody. Um, I absolutely love, love, love this app. So you have your guests at the wrap party download the app on their phone. No more using your phone to take pictures, text, no. Have them download it on their phone. Take the before and afters on their phone. Um, if it's somebody, again, that's you've mailed a wrap to them or whatnot, same thing. Get them to download that because there's a video that you can press play that shows the wrap process. Why you want them to download it on their phone is because it sends them notifications to drink more water, which is awesome. And then after 72 hours, it tells them to wrap again. Because what happens? I wrap people, I'm like, oh, and they buy another wrap or whatever. They buy a box when they're leaving because they want to wrap. Them. They forget about it. That wrap app is going, and then I forget about it because I'm, woo, hot mess mom. So they need that app reminding them when to wrap again and everything. It's amazing. So. Make that listening fun too. Before you start the party, download the wrap app immediately. Um, yeah. You know, you know that in those those times when the drink water drink is forty five minutes. Yeah. During three days. I think it does. It does. Yeah. It continues, yeah. Yeah, it continues to notify them because the person that I use it on, she remembers her wrap. She sent me her results after her second wrap because she remembers wrap. It was awesome. So yeah, it keeps that's the thing. It keeps notifying you over those seventy two hours. Um, one thing I really want to start doing that I'm going to start doing with my parties now um, is to give out a clipboard with a catalog, loyal customer distributor form, and a pen. Um, if you, again, catalogs I think are like $20, $25, but you know, if you don't have the extra money, your kit comes with one laminated. Laminate it, pass that around. When I first got those party pads, I went, $25 for, you know, whatever this is. I want them back. You know what I mean? I was like, I was collecting them because people would keep them. And I'm just like, geez, that lasts like two parties. So laminate it, pass it around, but definitely want to have it. Because, again, people want to look and read what you've got. But I'm going to start doing that. This is a good tip if that's something you want to do with having on a little clipboard. You know, again, don't go crazy with it and decorating and all that because you don't want it to be something people think they can't do. Um, encourage people 
These are some notes I took from conference. Encourage people to write down their goals, write down the products that interest them, and that's when you want to get into the party pad. When you start talking about that after the wrap, you go to the party pad, encourage them to write down things that you've gone over that they're interested in or that they saw the catalog and they have questions on. Um, you know, again, uh, what I like to do in the party pad, that transition between talking about the loyal customer, flipping it over and talking about the opportunity, I use that time to talk about my story and how I got into it works. So if you're doing the wrap party, it makes it an easy transition into talking about the business. And I've had people who are like, oh, they, they know there's a business opportunity. We don't need to talk about it. Yeah, you do. Because not everybody knows. Or again, maybe they want to know why you got into it. Maybe they won't be interested until they hear why you did because they can relate to you. If you're launching somebody, talk briefly about your story and get your host to talk about their story of why they got started because chances are it's their friend, not yours, at that last launch party. So they want to hear why their friend got into it. So encourage them to talk a little bit about that. Um, it just makes it an easier transition. But you want to tell people why you're doing this because people, again, buy why you're doing something. Um, you know, I think a good tra uh, tip that I got from conference was asking people, would you like to know how to make some extra money to be able to afford the products that you're interested in? That's a good question to ask people before you even get into it. You talk about your journey and everything, or even to start before you start talking about your journey, say, would you maybe be interested in finding out how to earn some free, free products and extra money towards these products that I just talked about that you're interested in? Um, or, you know, uh, who here, actually, who here in this room um, started with It Works because you wanted free products? I know, yeah, there's some people, that's why you guys got started. So throw it out there. There's other people out there who immediately just start off because they're interested in free product. Melissa Martin, Triple Diamond, that's why she started out because she wanted the free product. She said there, sat there and said she was sitting there rolling her eyes. I think it was Stephanie that did her party, and she's sitting there rolling her eyes, going, oh, God, here we go. And she signed up. So um, I had a person like that, too. Um, you know, who in, here, um, who in here is afraid or uncomfortable about talking about the business? Is anybody? It's okay. I was. That's why I'm asking. Don't be shy. Yeah, okay. So I was, and you still get nervous. You're silly. <laughs> you don't hear the video? Anyone see the video of me posting the girl today? I was like, No, I don't see it. It works, you know. You haven't heard of it? She's like, No. And I'm like, Really? She's like, What is it? I'm like, The the rap. Like when they don't know, I think I just I'm like, What? The rap? What? What? No. I'm like a health and wellness business. And I was like, Oh, you know, it's just like one of those MLMs, but it's really great. And I was like, wait, how do I do this when they don't, they don't when know they haven't it. already heard about it? I get kind of awkward. I love it when they haven't heard about it. I'm like, oh, I know. Oh, but that misconceptions. Let me start off. Like that. Yeah. So I mean, I was, I was totally embarrassed to talk about it because I was so embarrassed to be a part of it. And again, since I started off not wanting anything to do with the business, I assume nobody else wanted anything to do with the business. I think it was. I signed up in May, June, July, before I signed up a distributor. It was two or three months before I signed up my first distributor because I wasn't offering it. I'm just like, if, it, if they want to do it, then it's there. And I was so surprised when people started to ask me about it. And I'm like, oh, people are actually interested in this. I was embarrassed about it. I was embarrassed to be part of it. As much as I loved the rap and was so excited and wanted to share it, all I cared about was rapping people. I was embarrassed to talk about the business. And I have been here. And I'm, I know, right? And now I'm like, who wants to know more about this? No. Um, you know, there's an easy way to um, to end that discussion. So it's, again, not awkward. you got to talk about it. you got to present the opportunity. Again, start that by telling why you're doing it. Even if it was for a free product or maybe you don't really know a good reason why. If you don't know why you're doing this or a good reason why, then you need to start realizing it. And dig deeper and deeper, deeper until it makes you cry. Um, I tell people that the difference between a customer, I've, I've posted this before when I've, I've screenshot conversations, again, keeping it simple, I tell people that the difference between a customer and a distributor is one saves money and one saves and earns money. So what sounds better to you? I remember they've updated the party hat a few times, and they put that in there one time. What's your choice? I love them. Oh, that's how they wanted you to end it. You ask. Assume the sale. Ask people. But if you put it that way, sometimes it will make people realize, you know, when it comes down to it, you've sat here and you've listened to me explain our loyal customer program 
and our distributor opportunity that we offer. So let me just break it down for you. And that is, do you, are you interested in saving money or saving and earning money? There you go. That's an easy, super, unawkward way to end your presentation. And again, it's going to make people realize just the bottom line of what you're offering them. Don't be embarrassed to offer it. It's an amazing opportunity uh, that people need. Ashley made a post a week or two ago, and she immediately inboxed me and is like, I'm going to delete this. I'm so embarrassed because she really put herself out there. And I, I sent her a voice message. And I said, don't, because you might reach somebody who's silently struggling the way you were. And guess what? That was a couple hours later. She got an inbox from somebody, one person, who said, I'm crying because I read your post and that's me. I need to do this. Somebody who is silently struggling. So when you let your fear and embarrassment or whatever take over and you don't put it out there, you're, you know, you're not, you're, 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 you're not helping people. And that's your job is to help people. So just, again, look at it that way. You know, if you need to go in the bathroom and puke after you do it because you're so embarrassed or whatever, then go for it. But don't not offer that. Um, so, oh, another really good tip. You always want to let the potential have control. So, again, it's about them. It's about what their goals are, if they want to sign up or not. Um, you know, I wanted to make sure I covered something. I think I put it in my notes. Okay, before a wrap party, um, you know, okay, going back to somebody who is not local to you doing a launch party, get them to watch YouTube videos. Cami Dempsey has some great ones of her recorded doing wrap parties. Super simple and basic. Send them those videos or have them go look for them. Um, and before party, do your research. Um, you don't have to know everything. You just need to be confident and excited about what you're doing. You don't have to have every answer to everything. And be, don't be afraid to say, you know, I'm not really sure. Let me look that up really quick and look it up for them right then and there. Um, you know, your parties don't have to be perfect. Nobody knows if you're screwing it up. Nobody knows. So keep that smile on your face and keep on talking. You know, you'll know. Yeah. Can I point out, it's actually sometimes better to not know all the answers because if you have someone that wants to do this but they're insecure, mm -hmm. they're going to say, okay, well, she doesn't know all the answers and she's making money, so then maybe I can do this. Mm -hmm. I agree because I used to I, I have a little bit of green in me and I used to spat off all this like information and da 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 because I was so excited over that and then it, that's exactly how it made me realize like people are thinking oh my gosh because I had some people start saying oh I just you know you're so informative I don't know all of that and then I'm just like oh I just learned it and I was excited and wanted to talk about it but again that does it makes I people feel I these kind of companies because I'm like I do not want to know all of these ingredients I'm not yeah. If you've got somebody who wants to know, it's all right there at their fingertips to figure out themselves. So don't waste time doing that. Never, ever, ever cancel a wrap party. It is quality over quantity. I had a launch party for um, a new distributor who worked in a salon, and we were so pumped up about it. And again, this was you know, almost four years ago, and nobody ever heard of it or whatever. And one person showed up, and it was her best friend. And she literally, as I'm putting the wrap on her, looked at her friend, rolled her eyes, and said, I can't believe I'm doing this for you. I really love you to be doing this. So I'm going, we had just come out with a party pad. And I was super excited to show my new distributor how to use the party pad. And I'm going, oh my gosh, this person could care less about what I'm about to say to her. And I was like, no, nope, I just, I got to go through it anyway. I'm just, I got to show my new distributor how to do it. So I'm sitting there and I'm going through the party pad and reading and everything. And I know this girl sitting here going, I care less, rolling her eyes, looking at her friend, like, you know, doing all this, like, and I get to the point at the end where I talk about distributor, all this. And I said, I'm like, this is my first time using that new, what's your choice, you know? And you know what she said? And I got, got we unwrapped her. It was after I took a wrap off. She had amazing results. Showed the before and after. So I was like, I'm going to do it. I said, okay, what's your choice? And she goes, I want to become a distributor. I want to do this with my friends. <laughs> Boom. Somebody that I thought well, I was totally wasting my time and breath on wanted to sign up because she saw the results and she actually did sit and listen to me. So again, don't don't ever cancel a rap party because of that one person. So um, you know, if you're hosting weekly and monthly rap events, you've got to be consistent. I don't think Brianna's here tonight, but she does rapping Wednesdays every single Wednesday consistently. Um, so that's a, consistency is key with the business, period. With products and your work, consistency is always key. Um, you know, if you don't want to have it out of your home, if you are interested in starting to do a monthly or weekly wrap party, go find a business. I'm sure that you've got 
a friend who knows a friend or something that has some kind of a business. It could be a boutique, a salon, whatever. If you don't, go out and ask some. Lots of businesses are super open to letting you have a little table out there. Um, you know, you need to have fun with this, and you need to stop taking yourself so seriously. Have fun with it, and you know, these should be fun. Rap parties should be fun. So, um, I, I started using the word um, "rappy hour." Um, I did not come up with it. I wish I could take credit. For one of my sweet sidelines. Um, I finally got to meet a conference this year for almost four years. Uh, she started posting about it because she owned a business, and she was like, "Rappy hour," and I'm like, "I hate rap parties." I'm like. Rappy hour, and I like latched on the back and I started using that term. I'm like, throw a rap party out the window. I'm doing a rappy hour. That sounds fun to me. Um, you know, those can change your business. You know, use a tool like social media to advertise your rap parties. Um, you know, again, you, you've got to know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody that's got some place you can use. And if you don't, you don't have any friends, go out and make some friends. Or go out and make a friend that owns a tanning salon or something. Um, you know, and when you're booking parties, you need to throw out dates. Don't leave it open-ended. Don't just say, would you have a party for me? Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Say, awesome, come back with, I am free, this, this, and this. Which one works for you? You've got to be in control of stuff like this. You've got to be putting it out there. Um, you know, uh, and again, why parties are so important. We already covered that, but again, I wanna say it again, because people like to see, feel, touch, and taste, before they commit to buying something. When you have a wrap party, a launch party, or a one-on-one, -on -one, Crystal already said this, so I want to cover it again. People are more likely to make a decision right then. Somebody, um, oh, we have a leadership group chat going, and somebody said, I just did a wrap party, that is a sign, six customers like that, I'm doing more parties. You know, I mean, because I'm like, yeah, that's right, that's right, do them. You know, you are limiting yourself to only working your business behind the screen. You just are. And again, it's an amazing tool. The world is your office. Your, your devices are your tools, okay? Um, think of the time for a minute here that it honestly takes. So you're getting out in your cold mode. That's the big thing. Friending people that you don't know or you have mutual friends that you don't really know. And then you start following them, right? They've got to accept your friend request. You've got to build a relationship. How long does that normally take? A few weeks at least to build a relationship with somebody because you're being thoughtful, right? You're not seeing that accepted friend request and messaging them right away, right? You're being thoughtful. It takes weeks. Um, you have to invite them to an online rap party. You reach out to them. Um, it might take weeks or months before you get that relationship built, get that person signed up. Do it. Absolutely do it. Do it, do it, do it. But in the meantime, you should be partying. You should be having one-on-ones. Because while you're building those relationships with people that are not local to you and whatnot through social media, you go out and you do rap parties with people who are local to you and in your cold market. Because guess what? When you do a party, like Crystal said, people are more than likely to sign up right then on the spot. Seriously, who in here has added a random person on Facebook, messaged them the same day, and they ordered something within an hour and a half? Okay, smack you. You're just <laughs> that is, that's rare. It does not happen a lot though. Okay, it doesn't happen. You know, well, let's only that one time in four years. You know? Right, right. Like one time in four years. But again, you're limiting yourself by not by only only doing that. Okay. Um, so don't don't limit yourself. Get out there and like I said, you know, you're you're more than likely to get gain customers and everything like that immediately. But again, online rap parties are great. I don't think I've ever had any enrollments from an online rap party, though, the same night. I think a couple of my distributors have, but personally, I never have. And almost every single party that I do, I'm walking away with at least one enrollment. Um, you know, I want all of you guys to do what works for yourself. Don't forget to push yourself. Um, don't stay in your comfort bubble. If your comfort bubble is behind your screen, I encourage you to get out from behind that. Um, how many in here, you guys, I've, I've been pretty open about it, who in here knows that I have social anxiety? And for those of you who don't, I have social anxiety. I was out there doing thing. this before I came in here. Weirdest thing. Weirdest thing. It is, but I do. No, I, that you have it, not this. Oh, no, I know. What, you're trying to say I'm, I'm weird? <laughs> yes, you are. Want to take this outside? Yeah. <laughs> no, I do. I suffer from social anxiety. Um, but for some reason, I've always been good with people. Uh, when I started realizing I was good with people, I worked at Body Shop and Fashion Square Mall. 
and I was a cashier. And I got on the sales floor one day, and I just took off. And they were like, I mean, I was, who in here is, no, no nobody is, my friend that was know me from high school is in here tonight. I was so painfully shy. Well, yeah, take a moment and let that sink in. Um, painfully shy, quiet, introverted. I mean, ooh, bad. So you got to think of quiet. I know it's hard to think of quiet, introverted, shy, painfully insecure Nina gets out from behind the cash register and starts talking to people and like brings them a hundred dollar sale. For back then, that was a really, really huge deal. So I was like, wow, I have a gift. I can actually talk to people and like. I still suffer from it, but for whatever reason, I'm good at talking to people. It's just a God-given talent, I guess. I don't know. Um, but the days that I don't feel like working my business and I can feel my anxiety creeping in, they're not as much as it used to be, but they still exist. Those are the days that I put on my shirt and I put on my lantern and my blitz card and I get out there and blitz. The days that I feel like doing it the least are the days that I push myself the most because where does the magic happen, people? Out of the comfort zone. Who in here likes to blitz? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Casey's like, I do, I do. Um, what are we afraid of? What are we afraid of? Rejection. Rejection. Okay. Casey, now, come here for a look? second. Oh. Come here. Who has a blitz card on hand? Thank you. It's a guy one too. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do this I'm at the coffee shop. At the coffee shop. Thank you for my half calf latte, cap free oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, I'm oh, working. Is it okay if I give you a coupon? Um, sure. Here you go. There's my coupon. We don't accept these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Guys, am I laying on the floor? Did I die? She rejected me. No, you know what? would die. I'm still standing here. She rejected what I offered, not me. We're afraid of rejection. We talk ourselves out of it because we're. I mean, nobody wants to be told no. I mean, and I'm legitimately confused right now with this coupon. I thought you were giving me a coupon for a discount on your coffee. No. Oh no no. I'm not. <laughs> Go on, say, oh, there's ladies that I would say. Oh, 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 Okay, we'll call me if you're interested. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a great girl in Tallahassee. Her name is Nikki, and she's from Georgia. And she is the bliss and queen as far as I'm concerned. She is in a Southern Belle, so you talking to you know Nikki. Nikki tells me the story of how she went to the gas station, and she handed out her blitz card to people, and one of them said, I don't want this, they're in the trash, and she walked right in front of them and picked it up and said, Bless your heart, I'll take that, and I'm going to pray for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. That's why she's like, that's how I make money. I'll take that back. That, that's 15 cents right there. I'll go get it for you guys. No, okay, weird. You know, yeah, that's just how she is. She has a funny attitude. Because the worst that can happen is somebody is not like our coupon. I put somebody who said no, thank you one time. Or, oh, I don't, I don't. Oh, oh I, don't, I don't need this. And I'm just like, okay, well then you can pass it along to somebody who does. Walk away, unscathed, no bullet holes, still intact, right? Right, because blitzing does not kill us. I'm, I guarantee you, you blitz all the time, I blitz all the time, Alicia blitzes. 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 <laughs> it gets easier the more you do it. I used to, I've told this before, so I'm sorry if you've heard me say this. I used to call Casey again. I was one of the first people, if not the first people in my area to start doing this by myself. I would call Casey because again back then the big thing was let's say in person belly to belly um, I had a great triple diamond who I'm still love 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 to death her name is Kelly Gentle and I used to follow her um, she's on Joel and Grease, Joel and Stephanie and she was like flips and queen I mean red and green hair and crazy makeup and all this stuff and green everything and she'd post these hilarious pictures of her you know like flips and cops and handcuffs and like mm -hmm. out you know like taking pictures with people and I'm like, oh my gosh, if she can do this, I can do this. But you know what? She made it look fun. 
And it, it is fun. Listening is fun. She got the cuffs to wear the handcuffs. She wasn't handcuffed. Yeah, she had the handcuffs on. She's like, oh, I got rid of oh, she did. She too much okay. Okay. You know, okay. but funny stuff like that. But it is funny, and I, that right there inspired me to get out with things. You know what I would do? I would pull up to a business, call Casey on the phone back when she was just a Ruby and still answered her phone because she wasn't that busy. <laughs> 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 no, I would, I would, I would call her, and she would pop me up. Nina, you're great. Everyone, you know, they're gonna love you. Just get in there. You got this. Who can say no to you? And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And I'd run in and be like, um, is it okay if you give me a coupon? And you go, okay, thanks. And I'd, run out, and I'd call Casey. I did it. I did it. <laughs> But that's how I used to do it. And I yeah. encouraged her, even though I'd probably she probably was listening way more than me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> that, that, that's like, you got this. Yeah. <laughs> she, she brought me up and got me excited for it. But I'll tell you what, again, look around the room. You guys are pretty much all local here. Go out together because I'll tell you what, when you do get rejected, it's great to walk away with your friend and be like, oh, can you believe what a jerk that person is? <laughs> <laughs> Rather than you're walking away by yourself. Like, yeah. really like, <laughs> with no friends by myself, and I just got rejected. You just post it. Feeling. Yeah, then you post it like, I still have no friends, don't I? Isn't it great to know that there's this many people, yet the girl at Starbucks, which we all go to, has never even heard of it? Like, that just blows my mind. I'll tell you what, at, 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 at conference this year, um, man, man, three years ago, four years ago, even two years ago, oh my gosh, we talked to a server. Have you got these? I've got seven, eight coupons yeah. falling out of their aprons in their pockets this yeah. year. Nobody had a Bliss card. You know, Uber. Let's see. You know why? Because everyone's assuming. Every, no, everybody is doing this, 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 and this, this, right? So, um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, it's true, guys. It's going to ship, and it's time to get it back to the basics. Um, so, blitzing, blitzing, blitzing. Um, you 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 overcomplicate listening. Everybody said immediately rejection. You overcomplicate it by listening to your fear and your doubt. You talk yourself out of it. That's why I would call Casey because she'd tell my fear to shut up and sit so out there and go hand out my coupon. Um, here's a big 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 thing. Everyone else, did you raise your hand? Oh no, sorry. <laughs> um, oh, okay, she's like, oh, she's over the like, oh. <laughs> gotcha. Um, you know, here's the thing with listening. When you are talking yourself out of it and you're telling yourself you're going to get rejected, do you realize what you're doing? <laughs> you are attracting negative. You're attracting hateful people by telling yourself that nobody is going to take you serious. If you do not blitz because you're telling yourself, nobody's going to take me serious, somebody's going to reject me, uh, nobody wants what I have, they're going to think I'm calling them fat. You're putting that out there to the universe. If you're not familiar with the law of attraction, you need to be. Because it's just like the law of gravity. It exists, and it's just there. Okay? So the universe is going to say, oh, okay, here's the next angry, negative person you talk to. It's going to reject you. So stop attracting that to yourself. I had a friend, a dear friend who was with the business, who was on an amazing health and wellness journey, but was so insecure. And she is very outgoing, but she kept saying to me, nobody's going to take me seriously. Nobody's going to take me seriously. Somebody's going to call me out on this. They're going to hand my card back. I'm like, no, they're not. No, they're not. If they do, then is there any kids in the room? I really want to say the word. I really want to keep it sleeping. They're an ass hat. I'm sorry, I have to say that word. Because they are, right? If that's an ass hat, they're going to be like that with you. Well, guess what happened? She encountered an extremely negative, hateful, awful, rude person at the gas station that basically called her out. And it, it ruined her, and she would never recover from it. She's no longer the business. And it broke my heart when you cried. But you know what? I, I realized a few months ago, I really think she attracted that to herself. She put that out there so much that the universe couldn't tell her she was crazy and had to deliver a negative, hateful, awful person that was not going to take her serious. So stop doing that. If you believe that your next diamond and your next ruby is, your next rock star is your barista at, at Starbucks, unless they're confused why you don't have a coffee That's coupon. a sign. Yeah, that is a sign. Your checkout cashier, your gas station attendant, then they will be. If you believe that, I truly believe when Pam Satter said that you're only one car, blitz card away from changing somebody's life. I truly believe that. Alicia, our presidential diamond, 
was blitzed by how old was he? 70? Four. 74. The four year old. Four year olds are great with blitz. They're cute. Nobody yeah. can say no to a four year old. But 74 year old guy blitzed Alicia. That's how Alicia got brought into this business was by working as a bartender and getting blitzed. Casey found a blitz card, but she threw it away because, again, it was not a person that handed to her. It was somebody that put cards in a, in a store. So while that's great and it might get you leads, you really want to put it in somebody's hands. So, but that's how Alicia got in this business with being blitzed. And she was a, she, that was a presidential diamond working as a bartender. Your presidential diamond could be your next bartender, right? Or barista or cashier or whatever. If you believe it is, it's going to happen. And if you um, can't blitz at the bar... That's the best time to like the best time to go. That's the liquid current right there. <laughs> um, and here's the biggest thing with blitzing for me: if you don't hand out your card, there's going to be somebody else who comes along who's hungrier than you, who is more excited than you, more passionate than you, and they're going to hand out that card and take that person from you. So, um, you know, I got over myself. When I realized that I was doing a disservice by not sharing what this rap did for me. Because again, I was by myself. Did you want to see something? I want to do, I do. Yeah, yeah, I went it. to Dollar Tree two weeks ago, I think it was. Uh -huh. And I was buying all these bottles, green stuff. And this girl was like, what the heck is going on? Like, you people come in here and buy all of our wine <laughs> green stuff. <laughs> and, you people. <laughs> and no one had ever blitzed her. I believe it. And she's signing as a distributor next Friday. Woo! Right there, but no, people come in and buy. And she said place. like 10 to 15 people with gear on and everything. Right. Never even which dollar to her store? Uh, in Longwood, okay. right? She said Claremont. We'd all be like, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but, they, like, but they read my shirt. But my mom said, "What will change your life?" When I started the blitzer, my mom was like, "Oh my God, what are you doing?" Oh, that's actually that's, 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 that's actually in my notes. So that's actually in my notes. She's really embarrassed about it. She does. Um, she did. <laughs> what I started doing was printing out my results on wallet size. I got wallet prints done at Walgreens, and I printed that off, and I stapled it to my Blitz cards because I got so tired of fumbling through my phone because I wanted to show people they're like, this is what it does. Yeah, can you hold up that little thing? Like, oh, that's so cute. I see it too. Look at that. Very nice. It says ask me on the back. It's perfect. That's cute. Uh, so... Oh, I put the wallet thing on the card because I'd say this is what it looks like, this is what it does, and this is what it did for me. Because again, whether they know me or not, I'm still a real person standing in front of them, not a picture of a result. And they can relate to me better than they can this, I don't even know who that person is on the card. Um, you know, put your label on there. All you're doing is handing a coupon. Again, stop overthinking it. Um, and this is what I used to always tell myself. People want what we have. Again, the world is your office, and people with skin age appropriate, are who you are, you know, targeting. So don't ever think it. So um, this is what, obviously, that's not, but we were going to do that. Okay. okay, I need one more bond here. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, good. oh Katie, all right. Just Katie, quiet, quiet hand. Okay, Katie, too. Oh. I can't believe so, that. Oh, oh, that's okay. <laughs> um, I need to keep on. Where the dollar so, is. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, face the cashier of the Dollar Tree. Okay. Um, and. Okay, oh my god, your shoes. <laughs> oh, those are awesome. That's they actually what got me the. That's what initially started the. Green. Y'all do not all have to have <laughs> green hair. It helps. It, it helps. Totally does. But it does, doesn't it? Because everybody's like, oh my gosh, your hair. That's exactly what I say. That's just my coupon. Here you go. But anything green, green nails, shoes, buttons, accessories, hats for guys, nail you know, polish. I mean, that would get you some attention too, guys. Guys, nail polish. Yeah, it would get you. It's yes. green is a bright, random color. It just happens to be my favorite color. It really is my favorite color. But it, it gets people's attention. Before I dyed my hair green, I had green nails, green watch. I love green. I agreed everything. And people would ask. And so I would say, thanks, it matches my coupon. Boom. It's such an easy start. We're not a so what Ladies, right? let's get them with my yeah, move. Just to give you a scenario here. <laughs> but, but I, yeah, this is what is happening, everybody. 
We are both at Works Distributors, are we not? Oh, oh okay. Right? I get it. We're both at Works Distributors. <laughs> okay? So I'm going to. Beep. Pen. <laughs> 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 Hi, how are you? Thank you. Pretend this pen is green. I'd like to buy this green pen, please. Put it. Okay, you want me to pretend it's green? Pretend. Beep. That'll be 59 cents. At the dollar tree? <laughs> 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 is everything a dollar? Is it? Hey, it's one dollar tree. It's the first time. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Oh, I have that same phone. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, what is this? Like one on your shirt. Green. Oh, green's my favorite color. Yeah, I can tell. Your hair, I wasn't sure if you like you swam for too long. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I've got These are rude followers. people. This <laughs> okay, I've got I've got followers I need to unfollow and, and do things with. Sorry. Oh, okay. would you like a bag? Yeah, no, I'm good. Thank you. Everybody. Okay. Okay. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? What would you like to purchase? Some paper and green water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wow, you have. Are you? Do you know the girl that just walked past here and no. checked out? You guys have the same like outfits on. Oh yeah, I've what never is this heard of it. No. Really? I've never heard of the, the skinny wrap. Mm, I've heard of some water weight wraps. No, like no, the no, clay no, ones. That's what you're talking about. Let me give you one of my cards. Oh, okay. I said, and but this is going to be bad because actually what I said was I, I didn't. Start because of the rats. <laughs> I started because of the coffee. I don't even know where you're talking. And about. I started talking about. It. <laughs> no, I know. I know. Don't tell people that. Okay, it's okay. So there's a green spray water bottle and spray right We're just we're just role playing the right way to do it, and that's a, that's not the wrong way. Okay. Okay. So um, your name is Joy, and then I actually friend of her. I was like, oh um, do you want to be my friend on Facebook? Um. Well, I mean, I'm barely on Facebook, but that's okay. Do you have a cell phone? Yes. The lady over there. I do. Check me your number. Okay. And then she says, actually, text me. My, can I just text you and then you'll get my number? <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I mean, what do I need to do? Well, um, are you calling me fat? <laughs> no, no, no. I, this is good. What? <laughs> oh, wrap this up. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I will. Uh, you'll friend me. Yeah. And okay. I don't know if you're interested in the business side of it, but I uh, initially was not. But okay, it's really amazing. I was able to put my. I'm always looking for extra income. So. She doesn't have a car. <laughs> okay, stuff. so she's like, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, thank you. And all she asked was, she's like, you have to have a car to do it. I was like, oh, you just have to have a phone. But she's like, okay. I got a morals end of the story. Because guess what? She's like, crazy signs up too. as a distributor because she got blitzed and went presidential diamond. And what did I miss out on because I was too busy on my dad's phone? Oh, I'm so my sorry. next I was presidential diamond. It's okay. That was the point of my. <laughs> yes. So do you see the thing, guys? We get so stuck behind that screen that we stop doing something as simple as handing out our phone. And I'm wearing my ears. She noticed my green. Katie, thank you, Katie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 And which it literally could have happened if, if that gentleman had not. And I went live, Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have something to say. I'm not going to go out there. But I have a trick for you. Okay. 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 No, I'm thinking. Okay. So I give my cards out like normal. Usually, you want to get contact information. But when someone asks me about my shirt or something, I'll pull out a card and I'll be like, this is in my heart. Could you take a picture of it and text it to me? And then I have their number. I love it. Thank you, Ashley. So, um, so again, that's just like a little, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to ask something like that out so you can see we're all guilty of it, whether on your phone or not. We're guilty of not listening and missing out on potential rock stars. And then the next person, Katie, was more excited than me 
with her blitz card in hand, ready to go. And that is literally what happened to her. She is literally signing up a distributor next week because she was excited, because she blitzed that person. And there was 10 to 15, is that what she said? Yeah, that's what she said. She Are said you getting people. Hands <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, no, that's the that was perfect. Ten to fifteen people who have been in there who have not given her a card. And who knows what could end up with that girl. She might be your next runner. And let's say I was so afraid like before I started with my works, I was very afraid. Like I didn't even leave my house. And just being able to do that now is me. That's a big deal. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> I made her cry. So seriously though, like that's life changing for Katie. You know what I mean? She doesn't leave the house and goes out what's saying that's the most terrifying thing on earth. But you know what I love you that know? she 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 was up here explaining what she was doing and I love that you weren't going by any type of script. Yes. Oh no. You were doing what you felt, the vibes you were getting, the energy you were getting off of that person, and I mean, it, it works. Right. You know. You're so there, yeah. yeah, you're there to get the vibes off of them and just start start building a relationship. Talk to them. What are you interested in? What would you like to wrap? Stuff like that. You build a relationship, Casey. I really tried really hard to be able to record on my phone a blitz. Um, I just before the training set, I just did not have a chance to do that. But I wanted to record it, but you know, Casey posts her live blitzes a lot, so you guys can hear it and see it happening. And that is my mission in the next week to record one again, so you guys can see how it's done. And even if it is just a quick, simple, here's my keep on things, have a nice day. But when you start talking to people and they start asking questions, they genuinely seem interested. I say to them, "Well, you know what? I would really. Why don't we go grab a coffee? I can wrap you, or I, I've got wraps in my purse. You know." Um, who wants to wrap? I usually carry a box of wraps and ceram with me at all times because I love wrapping with people. Oh my gosh, Ashley, how many people have you wrapped like in bathrooms and everything like that? A lot, yeah. I mean, again, wrap cash in your pocket, but again, you're getting a wrap on somebody right then and there. And then you've got the 45 minutes to bring up all the other supplements and the products and stuff like that and start getting to know them. And if they're really interested that they're working in the line and starting to get long behind you, they can wait. Who doesn't like to be recorded on tape? Okay, so here's my tip for you. Have your phone in your lap. I'm telling you it is a mortifying angle. But <laughs> record it. I, I mean, I'll just give the Starbucks example really quick if you haven't seen the video yet. Um, but I had it in my lap because every time I go through a drive through that is my goal. I mean, I'm in and I'm out. I'm not stuck there. It's, it's, I still get a little bit nervous. But, um, you know, record yourself. You don't have to post it anywhere. But listen to yourself back, and that can kind of be your way of training yourself to do a little better. You, anyone ever take speech and you were recorded? You watch that back and realize how many times you say um, or what your what your nervous uh, switch what's your is. Voice what's voice? your nervous switch? Mine is like I think I, I go like this. Oh, I do too. Oh, bad, bad. You know, some people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I recorded it and I didn't know where it was gonna go. But by recording it, I think I kind of do a better job because, of course, my intentions are to post it. But do it for you. Record yourself doing a party so that you can watch it back yourself and see how you looked in their eyes. Because, you know, when you get up here and you're nervous, don't you guys kind of just feel like, well, you're not looking at my, the angle of which I'm sitting. You're not really paying attention. You don't, you don't really care. You're not judging. You're, you're just listening and soaking it in. But when you're up here, that's all you see is a bunch of eyeballs, and you get, you know. So you record yourself so you can see how you look. But today, so I, I got the, I'm in the drive-thru. I've, I've only slept three hours, and I need a coffee. It was either a cocktail, coffee. Decided to go with coffee, and that's weird. So you know I'm tired. And <laughs> as I'm ordering it, I five o'clock everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So I have the blitz cards in the, you know, my center console area. Well, whatever. You know, you don't have to open the thing up. I don't know what it's called, but they're there. There's like a little tray of them, the men and the women behind. And so I order, and I can't. I I, I want to say a large coffee, and I forget that it's 
So I was like, um, I want, oh, hang on, what is it called? What is it called? A venti iced <laughs> caramel macchiato. She's like, oh, that's what I had this morning. At least she said, I'm just tequila. An extra shot of espresso. I'm so tired. She's like, yeah, you know, so I'm not. That's what I had this morning. I only slept for like three hours. I'm like, this is through the intercom. I'm like, oh my God, me too. <laughs> So I put the blitz card on my lap and I had my, so I had like this and this and I planned on recording and we just started talking and I, I didn't want her to see and I, I got it at some point when she was doing something else. But I get up to the front and I had ordered the, the caramel macchiato and a wrap, like a some snack. She's like, you know what, I'm just going to charge you for the snack because you need that coffee and I know where you're coming from. And I was like, really? That's where you hear me on tape. I'm like, really? <laughs> It's so crazy, but in that that right there to me, I was like, I'm definitely blitzing her. I am definitely blitzing her. I already felt like we had something in common. We only slept three hours. But then you know what? I didn't just hand this over. What do you think I asked her? Why did you only sleep three hours? Because I went from this job to Chipotle across the street, and I've been doing that for four days in a row, and I'm exhausted. I'm calculating possibly eight to ten dollars an hour. Damn, she deserves more than that. So I said, listen, and you'll hear it, you know, I got a little, you know, have you ever heard of it works? No. What? The, the wraps? And I had a wrap. I had ordered a wrap. It's probably like, oh, you sell turkey wraps. <laughs> you know, so uh, I can't help it well this company. I didn't, I don't think I said an MLM, but I was kind of getting a little nervous. Like, how do I go from here? I said, are you going to get in trouble? There's not a line behind me. Will you, will you, can I give you a business card? And I thought, I did, you'll see me fold it. Because I didn't want her to look at the phone after. I wanted her to just look at my information. And I handed it to her. Sorry, Joy. I just pulled this your blitz card. Wow. But, 15 cents. And then I hand it to her, and then I'm like, oh, wait, wait. In my mind, what if she doesn't call me? What if she gets the card? What if she loses it? But I planted that seed, and then someone else is going to get her. I need to make sure I can follow up with her. Will you be my friend on Facebook? Yeah. I'm like, really? Because I, really? <laughs> I usually don't get like, yeah, I get kind of the hesitation. Like, sure. Because you're usually like, here, hey. here's my phone. Friend me. Hey, hey, friend. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> you know, so and now she accepted my friend request. Now what? What do you think I did? You blitzed her. I already blitzed her. Oh. She accepted my friend request. Oh, and you responded. There. Thank you. Something thoughtful. I went on her wall and I said, you made my night. And well, she did. Yeah. I said, thank you for being so kind. Your gesture spoke volumes to me. And her response was, I hope that you're having a good meeting. She knew I was on my way here. And uh, and I took a picture of my, my feet with the coffee. I was like, yeah, it's my, my guest tonight. So... You know, it's not just it's not just the blitz. It's not just handing out your card. It's caring about that person and making conversation. You know, people talk about themselves all day long. I was itching over there. I just wanted to talk, talk, talk. But I need to listen to Nina. You know, Can so we skip for that really quick yeah. because obviously I'm a bit tired. Uh, I just cut you off. Yeah, this um, is tough. We're gonna go. This is yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, there's so much tips you can give with blitzing. Is Pam always said, he who talks first loses, right? So me, especially, I'm so excited. I want to, blah, 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 and I want to tell them all this. And I, want to, I want to tell them about the ingredients. And I know how the wrap is made. And it's so cool. And, and there's this, and we got greens. And, and ah, you know, so to make myself shut up, I have to physically tap my fingers, bite my cheek, do something with my hands to remind myself not to talk. And I went blitzing with the distributor like three years ago. And we went to somewhere. And we left there. And she's like, how did you do that? That was the most awkward, like, five-minute pause ever. I didn't say anything. I let them read the card because I didn't know what they were thinking. It's about the person you're blitzing. It's not about you and what you want to talk about and, you know, what product you like most and why you like to make money. It's not about that. It's like Casey said, the person that you're talking to. That's why she asked her, why, why are you so tired? Why did you only sleep three hours? Not, oh, well, I only slept three hours because I'm on rat crack. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, and she made it about her, but made a real genuine connection with this girl. 
She made a genuine connection and then went for the, hey, you know what, we've got something going on here. Can we be Facebook friends? And she left it at that. And you would love it if you saw the post because I wrote, I guarantee you I'm going to sign up this girl. So I I spoke that into life and I I'm, wait you just wait I'm gonna hashtag speak quiet because I want to help her um, and it's genuine you know that's the thing too is being genuine you know you want to help these people you want to you know again put yourself in your prospects shoes as far as what it is that's doing for them stop thinking about your chart and the next twenty five dollars in your hand and all that that stuff is all great and wonderful and bound to happen but for that moment make that personal connection with them. You know, and make it real. That's, that is a really big thing. Again, using your tool of social media, add them. Because that's when you take them on the adventure. Because, again, you were there for that, like, what, three to five minutes probably? Mm -hmm. Not a long time to get the connection. When Casey found that Blitz card at our favorite clothing store, whoever put that Blitz card did not get this presidential diamond. You know, Alicia, that because was. she saw it the second time. Alicia got her because she saw it the second time. And she drove an hour to wrap me. Right. I mean, so and you're again, thinking, oh, they live so far. Alicia came. Yes, yes. yes that's right, Alicia. She <laughs> came. And, but what did Alicia do? She came and got the wrap on Casey. Drove an hour. It didn't be like, oh, it's an hour away. That's getting in the mail. Drove an hour for what she thought was going to be a wrap party. I'm sure she got there like, eh, two people. All right, I'll focus on the two people, <laughs> right? Because it was only Casey and all She was friends. like, do you have saran wrap? I was like, no. <laughs> do you remember that? No. no? I was like, what's that for? Um, I, you know, I don't need to rewind. I don't, I don't want to rewind, but I did want to address two things about the parties. This is a little bit of red on me, I think. Okay, good. Where I'm like, I was over there like, Katie, I'm itching to say something. No, um, sorry, y'all. No, actually, uh, to, I don't want to get off track, but uh, we wrapped someone two nights ago. She had amazing results. She's like, my coworker does this. Well, this is her sister-in-law, right? She goes to work where this distributor is on another team, and just I was reading a message that said, I shared with her my results, and she offered to pay for my kid. And I'm over there like, like a kettle. I don't know. I, so I'm over there like, how dare she? It's not even that she wanted to help her. It wasn't out of love. It was, well, your sister-in-law wrapped you, and you had these great results, but you know what? I'll buy your kit if you sign up with me. So anyways. Parties. Um, so a couple of things you said you need to do the launch party because you know sometimes you're like, well, I don't feel I don't know how to lead my new people because I'm kind of new or maybe I'm not, but I'm back in the game. I don't know how to lead them, and by doing that, you are showing them how to put the wrap on, just like she said, and they're going to learn a lot from that, whether one or two or three people show up. Um, but if it's two new, there's two of you that are new. I've outnumbered the amount of guests at wrap parties. Because when you enroll a new person, then enrolls a new person, then enrolls a new person, they're all like, well, we have to do the rap party, but we've never, we've all kind of just done one. So there might be five of you. It's kind of weird sometimes to outnumber them. I don't want us all to be standing in line like, hello. <laughs> There's five of us here. They should sit and watch just like a guest, and you do the presentation. Um, but what about parties that are awkward or one-on-ones -on that are awkward? I think the biggest thing is that sometimes people just don't know what to say. Yeah. And I'm not that witty. I'm always the person that leaves, even especially a, a, a debate or an argument with my husband. I'm like, oh, I should have said that. Like, I'll replay it like, man, that, oh, that would have been perfect. So, you know, I'm not that witty. But what I will say is that, you know, uh, yesterday I did not want to go to this rap party. I'm exhausted. I'm just flat out. Been to one every night this week. My kids miss me. Um, my husband, he, he can handle it, but my kids, that hurts, that breaks my heart. And so I had the mommy go, but I went anyways, because you know what? It was a new distributor with a new distributor and a couple of people, and they really needed me to go. I said, get the wrap on them, and then text me when you're wrapping the last person, and I will show up and do the, the presentation. She texted me not long after no one's wrapping, head, head this way, and I'm like, God, oh, okay. So I walk in, and it's quiet. No one wants to wrap, and I'm like, okay, so Hi. There's two of them, you know, and like I said, one signed as a distributor, one signed as a customer. I didn't even want to go, guys. I, I was exhausted, but I'm so glad that I went because I bonded really well with one. The other one, you know, is more Spanish speaking. Thanks, Amaryllis, by the way. Where are you? She wow. helped me out. She left. She was, she was so, what? We were, oh, I'm the most worst person ever. Was she supposed to come up here? Yeah, we were supposed to start 
me there. Oh my god. Oh, and Sheila, that's okay. We can get on speaker. We can do that. How, we'd like to end the meeting with her. Um, we like to start it. Yeah. I was too flustered. But how great, oh. you know, she's a uh, sideline and she helped out. But you know, so anyways, the point is, is that I was like kind of sweaty palms. What do I do here? They're not wrapping. Um, so I just do the presentation. Make sure you do the fat fighter demonstration. And you know, when I do that, I'm like, $23, isn't this amazing? This is my favorite part. I get really excited. I really do, because it's like, oh, there goes the poop guy. <laughs> $23. And you know what? Next month, I always tell them, I'm like, you can change. If finances are rough next month, let's do the fat fighters for $23. The fat fighter demo lets me bring in the fact that the loyal customer program, you can mix and match whatever you want. Um, so if it's awkward, it's okay. I did a one-on-one. -on -one. The girl wanted to wrap her in her thigh. And she showed up. I met her at a CrossFit gym. And she was like, well, I don't have any underwear on. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I have to take a before and after. You know. So I want you to just take a moment. <laughs> Where are my friends? You know? But I was thinking for 25 bucks. My husband's like, where's that before and after? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't know where it went, but you know, that's why I love it. You know, and I gotta rub the bubbles out of that thing, right? Oh, right. <laughs> so, you know, she was clean, and so that's fine. I did not do that. I feel like I'm gonna grow. <laughs> I'll grab a pair of underwear. She probably would have put on a pair of my own. I don't know. <laughs> like, or a bathing suit. But I was like, I mean, if you're good, you're good, I'm good. I'm gonna be right up in there. Okay. <laughs> so. about parenting because I invite them into my home and my kids are there and man, like Riley was just not having a good day and you know she had all the advice in the world on how to handle him while she had this wrap on and I just wanted to do the party pad I just can we can we do this thing so you know when you're in a situation and it's awkward you know try not to let it show on the outside maybe on the inside you ever have people that say well you have it all together how do you do it? And you're like, if you could only get in my head right now. <laughs> Nobody ever says that to me. I don't know why. Because <laughs> um, I just, I want to have my game face on, you know? So, you know, just, hand, it's all about handling. And sometimes it's, you know, what is that phrase? Fake it until you make it. Fake it or face it till you make it, whatever. But it, life is what? 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond, how you react. So just be a boss babe or a boss bro, whatever. And handle it professionally. Well, I mean, I'm like, there's no dropping, there's the fat fighters. There's no classy way to say it. <laughs> but do the fat I always, I always say um, in, in uh, technical, scientific terms, um, that's the poop or something like that. Yeah, you say make money out of it. The last thing, because I'm just totally going off here, but the when you're sitting at this wrap party, and what happened last night is I got two ladies. They both want to sign up as loyal customers, and I just look at them. You ever have a, who here has kids? That's quite a lot. You know when they're having that temper tantrum and you just want to be like, why? Why? I just scream back at Why? <laughs> why is this happening? Why? And they're like, why? Ah! They don't answer? Guess what? You can ask an adult and they're going to tell you why. So you sit across from them and you say, I know you're going to sign up as a loyal customer, but why not a distributor? Why not? And they're going to tell you what? I don't know. The thing? There's like four yeah, top I don't, I don't have money. Yeah. Yeah. And then what do you do? What do you do? What's your response? Come back with good answers. There's three things. Come on. Oh, 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 yes! Yeah. Woo! Yes! So feel felt found. So, you know, she, her thing was, I don't have enough time. I'm not sure I'm going to do well. Oh, yeah, but you never know until you try. I know what you're saying. I was there once. I didn't think I, I, was, I definitely didn't think I'd be here. That's for sure. You probably didn't think that either when you first signed up because we are all new. So, you know, go back to that day you signed up or before you did and all those thoughts that ran, ran through your head. And you're like, I, I, I gotcha. I understand. You know, but you know what? And I felt that way. But what I have found is that you really don't need that much time. If they can give you 10, for 10 minutes of their day, but 100% of those 10 minutes, that's enough. Not 10 minutes where one minute they're cooking dinner and then they're trying what we do. You know, we're trying to, well, I don't cook, but you know, you're trying to multitask, you know, stir the mac and cheese while answering questions. So you want to make sure that you are feel felt bound with that person, but ask them why. And you said it great. Loyal distributor. 
save, save and make money. I say something very similar. You're either going to become a loyal customer and purchase the products every month because you love them, or you're going to become a distributor, which is the same thing as a loyal customer, except you can make money. So why not? Like why, why? It's like it's the same thing. And then one of them, you know, like I, I couldn't have Amber list there the whole time, sort of understood that. And then the other one was like, you know what? I like, that. yeah, I guess, you know. Sometimes let me say when you put it that way, it clicks with people. But you know, the business is not for everybody, and that's okay. The business was sure as heck not for me when she first presented it to me. But sometimes it is, and sometimes it takes a little time. Sometimes I need to become a customer to really fall in love the product. And then it makes it easier for them to make that transition. It took me two weeks as a customer. Didn't we go through something where we were like, we're not going to sign up people unless we interview and make sure that they're like really on board. We, we, I think I went through a phase like that too. I was like, unless they can purchase the mini booster kit, oh, they're not. Yeah, that was a, that was a thing for a little while um, that I heard a few people say. Well, if you know somebody doesn't have them, you know doesn't as a, can't purchase this, then they're just not ready to distribute it. I'm just like, I took very much offense to that. Because I borrowed the $99 from my mother-in-law to get started because I didn't have it. Look at, look at you now. Okay. But seriously, though, like that, 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 you know, here's the thing on that. While I think that you should not, I think you should, you know, be thoughtful of who you're inviting to your team. You know what I mean? Because you're working with these people and you want to have the people on your team. I think you get to that point, you know, when it's been a while and you're not enrolling anybody. Or these bonuses come out and you want to enroll everybody. Um, don't don't just enroll people to enroll people. If you have to talk somebody into it, if you have to pay for their kit, if you have to do these things, if you have to talk them into signing up, you're gonna have to talk them into a launch. You're gonna have to talk them into blitzing. You're gonna have to talk them into an online rap party. You're gonna have to talk them into posting on social media. <laughs> if there's a difference this, between talking them into it and believing in and them. And believing in them, absolutely big difference there. So that's really it was true. actually Sinclair that got up on stage and said that it was the <laughs> training videos in the E Suite that it made her light bulb was like. And I'm like, so I'm like, I'll just sign up anybody, not because they're just anybody in their box. I want to help them, and I want to believe in them before they believe in themselves. And maybe it'll click, and maybe it won't. You know, but give everybody the benefit of the doubt. You always put it out there. So you feel? Huh? I knew you. I did. Um, I made a poll. <laughs> uh, I next thing I would like to talk about. What's another um, if we can guess? What's a really good way to build your business in person besides working? Events. Events. That's right. So um, events is an amazing way to build your business. Um, so that being said, I would like to call our next guest speaker, Diamond, very soon to be double diamond, Colleen. <laughs> I almost wore that shirt. I almost wore that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Colleen loves to do events. This is a newfound love for Colleen, and she has. That's okay. Does it feel a little awkward like that? Well, I, I feel like I'm like. I do too. That's why I moved away from Casey. I was like, hey. Well, okay. <laughs> um, Colleen has just recently fallen in love with events. I'd say more like head over heels. Yeah, which is really funny because Ashley will tell you our first event we did. <laughs> at this school and I sat there the whole time and every time someone came near the the table I was like okay I should do it. <laughs> and then she went to go get hot chocolate because we were freezing and I'm like oh my god I'm on my stuff I don't know what to do like I was freaking out and then this last event we did like two weeks ago when we came home from conference she literally had to trick me to stop talking to <laughs> because I was trying to train my, two of my new illustrators and I just wouldn't, like, I was just going after everybody. And she had literally had to trick me. That's hilarious. I believe it. I know she so, would do that. True. And uh, <laughs> Rebecca was there. It's true. I was. I was definitely was so all over. Well, stuff. tell us how, how do you find events? Uh, how do you find them? Well, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups. Vendor groups. Um, there's one that's a Tampa vendor group. You know, just local area. Um, my photographer for my wedding I stayed in good contact with, and then the bridal show I met her at, I actually got in touch with that person, so I am in contact with her all the time. I like bridal events a lot. Um, gyms, like, you, you know, look around and see if any of the events. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, <coughs> Google search. Google search. That's how I find my events, typically, is I do search engines and type in local vendor events. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, churches sometimes do things. We cannot do farmers markets, garage sales, flea market type events. That's a big no no. That's right. Flash the badge, y'all. Or I'll search um, vendor. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Facebook has a way. Do you know how to do that? Because I don't know how to do that. Yeah. yeah. Can you explain that really quick? How do you In do the that? search bar at the top, if you click vendor, it'll come up with different titles that you like top. Um, pages, places, people, stuff like that, but it'll also come up in posts. So if someone's saying, oh, I have vendor spots for this, this, and this, and since, you know, most of us have a team all over the place, even if it's not local to me, it can be for somebody on my team. So, and again, with everybody kind of getting, you know, stuck into the social media world, I mean, a year or two ago, I mean, if you saw an event, you had to jump on that thing immediately, otherwise it was snatched up. Now, it's like, I got one of the most popular events in a different city, but I have not been able to get the past four years, and I've booked it like that. Because I mean, again, everybody's kind of forgetting. So this is such a good time to jump on events because people are forgetting about such a great way to build your business. So, um, like you mentioned, you know, when I when I do search engines on like Google and whatnot type of thing, like bridal expo, expo is a big word. Um, keywords like that: vendor event, bridal shows, bridal expo. Fitness Expo, Expo, local event and vendor are big keywords to search for. For your Chamber of Commerce, usually they have like a schedule of events, so you can look on that too, like I'll check Claremont, and like Pig on the Pond, they're having, they have the first Friday, uh, stuff like that. So, so um, why do you love doing events? I think I love them because, first of all, I can't stand this, it scares the heck out of me. So I feel like when I'm at a vendor event and someone comes up to my table, that takes away the fear of rejection they're coming to me. So that gives me the confidence to just let loose and just tell them everything about it. So listening, yeah, not so much, but when they come up to me, we're, we're going to work on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my husband's making me work on that. Good. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> um, it's true, the thing with, with events like that, people come there because they're looking for things, they're looking for new products, they want to see what's out there. A lot of times they walk past, you know, all the tables. It's really good to stand out in front of your table. I've done, I mean, dozens and dozens of events. And there are some that I've sat and been to, you know, shy and embarrassed to talk to anybody. Other ones when you're you know, out front and you're excited. Mm -hmm. And you, you have got to stand out and be excited to talk to people, especially now that we've got the wow. That's a huge thing. Yeah. How much is too much to pay for a table at a vendor? That's what I was like, I don't know if well, you, you're, that's a really good question. I've got a really good answer. Um, she was saying, how much is too much to pay for events? Well, bridal expos can be extremely expensive. I've done events $25, and I've done a $400 event. So the thing with expensive events like that, and bridal expos can be $1,000 mm -hmm. and up. I know, right? I see all these events like 300 and this, and I'm like, ah, my pockets are empty. Best thing to do. Is, yeah, so find, find a sideline. If you don't have a team, find a sideline or upline to split the event and do it with you. Um, I always try to split events. Um, what I do now, um, if it's not, if it's around, you know, 150, 175, so yeah. I just want to pay for it because I want to get the event. And then I find out who wants to split with me, something like that. Um, splitting the events is really good. But here's the thing. If you do an event and you pay a lot of money for it and you do nothing with it, then that's when it becomes a waste of money. That's when it becomes too much money. If you put out a couple hundred dollars to do an event and you get all these leads and you don't contact any one of those leads, that's when it becomes too much to be paid for that event. So I think the value of the event depends on you. Are you out there talking to people? Are you, you know, when you set up a table for an event, so you have beautiful set up tables. What are some eye-catching things that you do to make your table look pretty? Well, I have a big, um, like, sparkly kind of, like, poster board with all results pictures on it that I've always made sure it's And they're all corporate approved, right? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. Okay. <laughs> but most, a lot of them are me. So when okay. someone comes over to the table, they'll be like, okay, so does it really work? And I like being able to show them, me. yes, this is me. So that usually shuts them up right away. So um, I have that, and then I have the raffle. I made a, a box for the, the raffle, and I usually don't put blitz cards out because the purpose for me is to get their information. I hate just giving a blitz card and not getting their information. So we do the raffle, which has these little pieces of paper with all the info on it that you can print out of, I think it's Casey's page, that you can print it. 
And I, if they show the littlest bit of interest, I'm like, oh, just fill out the form. We're going to do a free raffle. Just fill it out with their information. And usually if we have more than a couple girls working the table, I'll just say write your initials on the back. So at the end, we can split all the leads. So I definitely have that. Um, I have a little sign that hangs on the front. I forget where I got the idea, but it was one rep for 25, two that. for 50, or four me. for 59. I'll take that, that. yeah. Yeah, because that was the best thing I could have ever yeah. done because I started out doing a ton of events. And same thing. My, I love my result. I put it in a picture frame and put it out front. And I started, again, and this was, people had never heard of it or, you know, people hear things. And people would walk by my table and go, oh, that is so expensive. Oh my gosh, those are so expensive. I'm like, I can hear you, you know, like, <laughs> it was really awkward. I'm like, you know what? No, it's not. It's actually really affordable. So I made a, I got dollar, dollar tree, big old neon green poster board, and I took black lettering, and I said one wrap, $25, two wraps, $50, three wraps, $75, four wraps, $59, with a little asterisk, and then asterisk at the bottom, ask me about my discount option. And so that is when I started selling wraps, when people could see, oh, $25, good. And that's when I started um, setting up customers, too, because they would try it. I would wrap them. They'll walk around. I'm going to come back to me in 45 minutes, and they would. I like it because some people will be like, um, your math is off on that board. Or they'll say oh, yeah, yeah, I've had that, too, yeah. Like, no, actually, and then that kind You're of like, really? Because door. that's like a ridiculously good deal. Why would somebody... Why would I pay 75 when I can get I'm like, I know, right? Yeah. So yeah. let's do it. You know, but yeah, people have said that to me before too. Um, one fun thing I did in the vet one time, we had gotten from an idea from a different distributor, was take like the beaded necklaces and um, punch the hole through blitz cards and tie the little strings when I wrapped people. We would want to get her daughter with her. And so she'd hand out the beaded necklace with the blitz card. And she was going to say no to a cute little, you know, seven-year-old. So they put, they'd wear it. Then the people that I, that I, that I wrapped were wearing a wrap. And we'd say, here, go walk around with this. So they'd walk up and people would be like, what'd you get that? So oh, over here. And they'd look at their shirt. And I had three or four more people come over to our booth because they wanted to get one of those things that that person was wearing. It was brilliant. So there's things like that that you can do. And again, you have books, cards, anyway. Don't go crazy. Tablecloth to cover your mm -hmm. thing. Um, same thing. I, I did the same thing. I have a big poster board that I put, of course, corporate approved pictures. I, I got to go get my own rules. Come on. Um, you know, on there arms, legs, stomachs, men and women. I try to do appeal to everybody, basically. And, um, you know, that's a really big thing there um, to not, not do. Don't go out and buy a ton of product. You're not there to sell product. You're there to gain leads and get the wrap on people. Don't go there expecting to sell product at retail. You're, you're doing yourself and them a disservice. I don't even care any. any I don't either. I have just flowers for display. Put them out on That's display it. because sometimes people will see my bag of protein and want to come over and ask me about my protein powder. So I've got stuff on display there. But I don't, I don't have it there to sell. I'm there to sell wraps and get their information. So she was talking about a lead box. So what that is, if you go into any, pretty much any team page that you're in, underneath files, you're going to find the forms. You print off, it's a lead form, and they put their name, address, phone number, and they can, you get the good one, you check, they can check off which box they want to do. If you say you're going to draw a free wrap, really do do a drawing for a free wrap. You really want to do that, because I got a distributor that way. My free wrap drawing had two parties, and then she signed up as a distributor. So, um, you know, you, you definitely want to do a free wrap. Why not? You know, give one away. Um, but I think a big thing too, like I, like I said, the worst thing you can do is gain all these leads and then let them sit and do nothing with them. You want to follow what we call the two 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 rule. Follow well, within two days, two weeks, and two months. That's what that rule really is for. It's for follow up. So after two days. Text them. If they did not get your free wrap, don't say, hey, guess what? You didn't win. You want to buy some of my products? No. <laughs> you say, hey, were you still interested in wrapping for free? And see what they say. And if they say yes, then talk. You're sneaky about it. They end up doing a wrap party and don't realize it. If you would like to wrap for free, um, I would love to come over and wrap you. Just get four of your friends who would also like to tighten the tone in front of the club and try to wrap with you. Boom. Do you still think they're getting a free wrap? Because they are. They don't feel like a loser, and you're getting people, you know, from the cold market in front of you. Win, win, win. Everybody wins, right? And then still really do your free wrap. But if you get all these leads and you don't do anything about it, then, you know, then it was a waste. It was a waste of your money. It was a waste of your time. Some people just fill out the form because they're going around and just able to win something free. But she might get a rock star out of it. You never know.
Um, I always get try finds on the That's what it was. Thank you. Building a relationship again. I like to just get them on there so they can watch. I don't even say anything necessarily in the beginning. You know, just friend them and open A big thing that I did, um, I've, I've worked the um, North Florida Fair the past two years. And a big thing I learned last year was when talking to people, again, stand out in front of you and talk to people. And I say, have you heard if it works? I don't say, have you tried that crazy rap thing? Have you tried that crazy rap thing? Have you tried that crazy rap thing? Or he's like, no, I'm out of here. I say, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Have you heard if it works? Because they're be walking by and like, don't talk to me, don't look at me. You know, so I'm like, hey, talk to me, how are you doing? I just be friendly and say, how are you doing? And then that opens up the conversation to good, how are you? Great. Have you heard about it works? Notebook. Come on over here to my booth and let me tell you all about it. You know, but be friendly, be personable. If you start again building a relationship with somebody, don't hand them the blitz card and say, Call me. Add them on Facebook, have them fill out the form, do your initials. Like she said, if you're working in the event with more people, you split the leads at the end of the day. And I'll tell you what, here's a big thing with events that I've noticed. People don't want to actually come over and pretend like they're really interested unless somebody else is at the table. As soon as you got one person to stand there talking, people will flock to your table. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's like moths to a plane. It's really funny. Mm -hmm. If you notice that, yes. so yes. make your table pretty. Put some bright green stuff. Again, Dollar Tree is the best yes. place to go. They've got our green. They've got all kind of fun boily things to put on there. It's cheap, a dollar. Everything's a dollar. Really annoy them and go up and ask them how much it is. But you know, um, <laughs> it, it really lets them. Yeah, and then push them after you know it. So, but it is. It's you know, events are fantastic, and again, a really good, easy, wonderful way to gain a ton. ton. You can walk away. Well, how many leads have you probably walked away from? I haven't met before. Um, the one that we just did was probably the best. Oh gosh, I feel like, what did you say, Rebecca? Like 30? 25? Yeah. 25 to 30? Yeah. You can get 30 to 25 from, from, uh, from one event. Yeah, and right Rebecca wraps somebody on the spot there, we wow somebody on the spot. The wow is going to be a huge thing with events too because, again, you're going to do it, they're going to see it immediately. And they're going to ask, well, how do I get more? Mm -hmm. And, you know, what is that? And, wow. And they're going to walk around and tell me, wow, wow, wow. You know, go over there. Um, is there anything? just being in front of people. Yeah. I've learned that being in front of people, it's so much easier. It's like we all said, you see your excitement. They see your sincerity. They see you see, honestly believe in it. And that's it. You just get in front of people and share everything with them. Nine times out of ten, they're sold. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Do you have anything else you want to add? Um, <coughs> All right, well, that's events, y'all. Thank you, Colin. Thank you. All right, um, it's time to talk about the guys. We got you guys in here. Uh, guys, talking to you, how many of you blitz, honestly? You guys, <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Huh? Blitz, blitz, and you pay pay. Uh, that's right, you get paid. <laughs> that's right. Well, I would like to bring up our soon to be diamond leader, who's also a walking billboard. I think he might like the stuff more than I do. Um, Chad Cook. I'm calling you out there because I love you. You're always a walking product. You know, you, every time I see you, Crystal teases you about loving the gear more than she's not. I do too, so it's okay. Hey, but, uh, it, it's honestly half the wardrobe in my closet. So. Me too. No, but seriously, what's so great about that is he, even if he's not opening his mouth, he's still supporting Crystal. And what's really cool about guys working in a business like this, just something as simple as wearing a shirt, hat, whatever, when other guys see the guy like supporting their wife like that, they're like, whoa. So, I mean, if you had guys it, it come up to it, you, it does. It helps, and uh, just Thomas. I mean, me and him, we and my brother Ashley's husband, my brother. We all go to the gym. We're just. It's great to be around others that are also helping their wives and just helping get it out there and known to everybody. I had some people. My husband's all, well wasn't always supportive. He did tell me it was a scam when I first signed up. Uh, and then I said, I, I for those of you who don't know, I told. Him, What's that? I said, so is mine. Don't feel bad. Oh, yeah. No, like, yeah. As soon as he started seeing my results, that's when he was kind of like, that's when he asked me for my last one. I told him to back off. Um, but he uh, he has been very supportive. And actually, after he did one rap, and I had a neighbor come over, and he's like, so what? He saw myself in the camera. He's like, so this? And he's like, I got this. And then he started talking. And I'm like, oh, Lord. In one rap, you think you're an expert. He's always been very supportive. But 
um, I had people come up to me and say, I'm going to try this now because I saw Dave do it. And Dave's like the king of skeptics in the whole entire world. So he believes in it. I can trust you, but I can believe him. Because guys, I mean, I, I think guys sometimes tend to be more skeptical. You know what I mean? Like, than the females do. Nine times out of ten, yeah. So when you see a, a, a skeptical guy, you're the skeptical guy, and you see another guy, like, supporting his wife and wearing the green and, and all that, that speaks volumes. But Chad does not just... You know, dress. He actually does, you know, really work the business. He's very involved with Crystal. He comes to the events and he blitzes. That's why he's sitting up here because we're talking about how, um, you know, guys work the events. Work the events, sorry. Work the business. So why don't you share some tips as far as a guy working this business, you know? Unfortunately, I'm still at a JOB during the week, but um, I usually, at some point throughout the week, I have to go out and lunch, pick up lunch. There's only so many places I can go because I'm out in the middle of the road, in the middle of nowhere. But I usually will blitz the girls that actually give me like my takeout food. Like I just did one last, did two today, as a matter of fact, at um, Outback up in Leesburg. Just they were real nice, and I made it a point. I had forgotten to take my cards in with me, but I had my shirt on, and I noticed both of the girls that were helping me kept reading it, and I made an excuse to have one take one bag out so I could go grab one. And I came back in and put both of them and gave it to them. I didn't have enough time to get their Facebook info because there was like 12 people behind me. But usually I, I just hand them my phone like I did the girl last week. I was going to say, you did a great one last week. I did week, Viva so. Brady's, the girl, just really nice. I've seen her in there a few times. And I was like, can I give you my coupon? And she was all about like, yeah, sure, what is it? And just so happened, she wanted to do one, knew another distributor, but had never gotten back with her. So she took my card and I was like, well, are you on Facebook? And she was like, yeah. So I was like, well, here, enter yourself on my phone and we can be friends on Facebook. And she did and ended up getting not just her, but also her sister. She had to go through her sister to find herself on my phone. So that was another way that I did. Yeah, two girls. Luckily, my wife is totally cool with that. Is that I went home telling her about two girls at the gym that I started talking to and showing them my results, and they were and they couldn't believe what results I got from them. So and that I could care less either. Right, that's what I'm saying. You're not, yeah, you're not worried about it. I can wrap that. I think I heard that from Alicia says the math. <laughs> it just doesn't, doesn't matter. Male, female, they got skin, they can be red. Because <laughs> you're sitting on a, a, a billion, on the verge of being a billion dollar brand. What do you have to lose? You know, and it's true. Chad, I mean, you know, some people think like, oh, you know, the only role, you know, some some guys are very supportive. You know, Casey, presidential, her husband doesn't work the business at all. It's just not his his thing. You don't have to be crazy, super outgoing. That's why I want my husband, when he retires the Coast Guard next year, um, He's been in the business with me for a while, and he does help and talk about it, but he's going to go for a full time with me. You know, I'm always like, be like Chad, be like Thomas, you know, but like, wait, wait, wait. Support, wait, wait. Support, 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 support is a big thing. Let me say this first, because I have not gotten a single, I'm almost diamond, and I have not gotten a single distributor. It's been all crystal, but I do wear the gear as much as I possibly can, probably too much. She hates it because I spend too much money on it. <laughs> But I wear it out. So I was going for Everywhere we go. Promotion. Like, oh my gosh, I found this thing. I was like, if it's just not heavy, be on it. Do not touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I, I don't like blitzing. I do it. I'm just, I'm actually good with people once I've started talking to them. But I wear the gear so that I can see if they're, if they're looking at it, then I know that they, I can, I've got an opportunity. People ask you what works all the time yeah. on your guard. Yeah, first of all. When we're together and like we go to the register or something, he has a the one shirt that says that I'm crazy rafting, he's extremely tall. Well, that so helps too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <they're right there. laughs> yeah. With yeah. all the women. So I'll be over doing something and they're like, crazy rafting, what's that? They'll read it and then he's like, oh, you're, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I come in. And Would you actually stand up and Chris will come here and, and uh, Thomas and Colleen come up here for a second. I'm just going to call you guys out. Come up here for a second. Zachary, you wearing a shirt? Zachary, Becky, come up here too. I want you guys to see these couples yeah, for a second. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 perfect.
Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you guys are in green. I want you guys to, I'm going to make an example. All you guys, all you guys, you know, we're in the network here. Come on. 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 Come are you, you're probably going to ask, what are you going to like part of a cult right now? <laughs> yeah. no, seriously though, look at how, you know, yeah. couples look when they are both dressed in their gear. It stands out. It shows you, wow. And these, yeah, get a picture, y'all. I've had someone come up from the <laughs> side. And they were like, <laughs> you she's like, like, so what happened with all of this? So were you guys yeah, like, there's nothing wrong with that? And if you're single, I'm not saying Just saying, like for those of you who have a significant other who is supportive, or even if they aren't, feel like, honey, would you just wear a shirt for these things? Because this this kind of thing stands out. Isn't it all hard? Everything you're wearing is nothing. And I don't want to You guys look amazing. You guys look amazing. So anyway, I just we you know I called I called Chad up here because he you know he feels like he's much more supportive of Crystal, but I mean I think that is really huge for guys to blitz men and women. Like he has blitz and gotten Facebook friends with women. So if a guy can do it, there's no reason why none of us can get out there and do it. I mean, and they didn't be like, oh, Herbert, nothing like that, did they? No, they were like, sure, why not? She was actually funny. She's like, what, you trying to say I'm, I'm, I need to lose weight? Just real funny about it. And I was like, absolutely not. You know, and then people are going to say that sometimes. And you say, oh, well, if you want to, that's not what this is for. It's tight and tone and firm. You know, you can kind of go back to that. But I mean, I really called Shut Up here because, like I said, he is literally getting out there and, and working the business. And so I think it's great to see you being supportive, but also working the business. Too. So thank you, Chad. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. So, wrapping some things up a little bit here. Um, you know, I wanted to once again reiterate that I want everybody to do what works for you. Do not, if what you're doing is working, don't stop doing it. Um, I want each and every single one of you to not put limits on yourself. Don't limit yourself. You know, you're missing out on so much and holding back your team. Like I said, when you forget about the simplicity and the basics that this rap empire was built on. So the things that we talked about tonight are what this company is built up on. Um, and that's why I'm so passionate about it. Um, and why I thought it was important to do a training like this and go back to the basics, as I was saying, is because, and I kind of touched on that, you know, a little bit ago, a year and a half, two years, I've seen such a huge shift. And because, you know, two or three people promoted ridiculously fast by using social media, I think everyone expects that to be their journey. And you know what? Is it possible? Absolutely it is. That might be your journey, but it might not. And what upsets me is that people are setting limits on themselves. They're starting to put expiration dates on their success. You shouldn't do that. I have seen people quit this life-changing, amazing business because they didn't go presidential or diamond or triple or whatever in one month, three months, four months. That's sad. It took me three months to go executive, five to go Ruby, stayed at Ruby for 11 months, Emerald. Uh, for a couple months after that, Diamond at my 21 months in the business, 23 months double, three a month before three years triple, and I've been triple for you know almost a year. I don't care. I don't care. And I will continue to do what works for me, which is using tools that are fantastic. But I'm I'm a relationship person. I, even with my social anxiety, I like to build a relationship and you know, get to know people and whatnot. And if that means that it might take me another year to go ambassador and it's looking pretty good for that, I don't care. It'll be great. So don't set limits on yourself. That was my biggest thing with this. You know, what's more sad to me than anything is these people who, who did that and ended up quitting and giving up never got the rap on anybody. I have seen people in this business 
that have been in this business for four or five months. And I'll see posts in, in our in the Tiwa page. I'm so glad it's Tiwa again. Can I just say that? Um, I see posts in Tiwa or even other pages or people posting in leadership groups. Um, how do I respond to this person? And they're complaining. It's been you know three weeks, five months, whatever, and nobody's responding. What are you doing? I'm posting on, on Facebook. I'm posting on Instagram. What else are you doing? I'm posting on Facebook. I'm posting on Instagram. How many people have you wrapped? Ah, oh, that's sad. That's so sad. You know, and if it's working for you and you're getting leads, and you're going, 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 you're building, 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 keep on doing it. But if it's not working for you, then start doing different things. You know, there's a saying, you know, adjust the wind in your sails. You don't just pop, you know, get off the boat. You adjust the wind in your sails if it's not going the right direction. You're, you know, captain of a ship, right? You're the captain of your own ship. Do you just jump off your ship if it doesn't go the direction you want it to? No. You adjust with the sails and you, you follow where the wind is blowing you. So if it's not working, change it. Um, you know, I I had seen some people in leadership positions in this company. Um, I, I was on a call or something, I can't remember what it was, and somebody asked about um, uh, um, blitzing. Oh, I don't blitz. I don't blitz. I don't teach my team to blitz. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? You know what I mean? Like, just because it doesn't work for you, again, does not mean that you should not teach your team to do that. So say, this is what works for me, but here's three other ways to work your business. So let's focus on this and see what you're good at, and then we're going to run with that. Um, they don't teach their team anything besides, you know, posting on social media six times a day or whatever, and people are starting to get, and again, it's not just at works. And I made a video about that. you got to think about all the other network marketing companies that are out there. Um, you know, that's why if you were at a conference, corporate asked, you know, people who have built super, super fast on social media. What else did you do? Because people aren't hearing about that. Why did parties, I did this, I did that. Or what would you do if it all went away tomorrow? How would you build your business? Because people are not, they're losing sight of the bigger picture here is my biggest thing. So don't get caught up in those overnight promotions that are awesome and exciting. And that's a lot of people's journeys. But two, three, four people out of 100,000 that's the reality of it here. It's been two to three to four people who we hear about out of 100,000 distributors, okay? Um, you know, we are so blessed to have the tools that we have to expand our network. Um, I think that it's really starting to affect online market um, because of unthoughtful people. And thousands of unthoughtful people are making it difficult for us to really expand our, our social network. Um, you know, people are starting to voice their frustrations and they absolutely have a right to. Again, I'm part of some leadership groups and they're screenshotting awful rants from people that absolutely have a leg to stand on. And again, not all directed at works because you've got to think of all the other companies out there that are doing it too. So, um, you know, I want to ask you guys for a second, you know, if you are having lunch with somebody or, or blaming some, or blaming, <laughs> blitzing somebody, um, you know, Casey, come up here a second. So let's just say, oh, are you too tired? Ah, yeah, I should call it. Sure. Okay. You okay to come here? Yeah. Sorry. So no, Casey's new thing right now is what's that place that you go to that that's like your like hunting ground? Magical. You know? Jump. Magical. It's a magical. Magical jump. She takes her kids there and walks away with like five or six or seven distributors like that. But just kidding. But well, they're, they're, they pay to be in there and they're kind of the ones that get their money's worth. Right. They're so, so say we're a magical jump and I'm sitting here. Hey, how are you? I'm great. So I work for it works. I know if you've ever heard of it before, but you can pay $99 and you can join my team. And we're offering a Ruby bonus right now. It's $500. And I would love it. And you want, I've been watching you. You're on my dream team. I'd love to have you a part of my dream. I gotta go potty. <laughs> if you would not talk to somebody that way, why would you message them that way? Why are we talking to people like they are not another human being on the other side of that screen? You know what I mean? Um, be a friend and be personable. Build a relationship with them. Take them on an adventure and have fun. Um, I'm so glad you came the magical jump. I want to touch you. Oh, yeah, you would. You're very like, hey. So. Is, that, is that your? 
Thank you. Oh, is that your son ever been playing? Oh, that's awesome. They're having so much fun together. What? So, are you a stay at home mom? Um, actually, I do. I, I work from home, actually. It's great. So, I'm doing you a little work right home. now. Yeah. Well, so do I. Oh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I screwed that up. I thought you were setting no, me up to talk no, about it. I'm, 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 oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm a stay at home mom. You know, I've got uh, that one. That's my daughter over there. Funding. Yeah, yeah she's right next to my daughter. But is she four? Yeah, she, she is four. actually. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so you love being a stay at home mom? I do. It's been tough financially, but it's so worth it right now. Yeah. 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 Um, How about you? Do you stay at home too? Yeah. I, well, I'm I work I work from home. That's where I get kind of nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do. I I actually I I work wherever. I'm actually working right now. Oh, you are. What do you yeah. do? Um, yeah, what kind of it works. Yeah. No, no. Oh, I've heard of those wraps. Yeah, I have. That's the, the um, the um, makes you lose the water weight or something, right? Well, no. I mean, I, I totally understand your confusion there, but actually, there there are some on the market like that. But this is the natural active ingredient gel infused cloth. So that's what I've got a dry one in my bag. I always have to show you what it looks like. But you sell yeah. those? You slap it on? Yeah, I sell those and a bunch of other things that are amazing. I've seen some people selling that. You actually you actually make money doing this. Yeah, stuff. I know. I felt that same way when I signed up. I've been doing it for almost four years. Four years. Four years. Yeah. Wow. So when I signed up, I didn't think I could really make a whole lot of money. So it's actually such a blessing. Do you actually make money doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And what's great is that we all like work together. Because I'm sure you've like probably seen other companies where you sign up. Have you ever done another company? Yeah, actually, yeah, I did. Me too. No, no offense anyway. to Avon, but I did Avon. Oh, really? Really? Um, I don't want to talk about it. But I would because I'm not on camera. But here right, right, right. Anyway, okay. I already said I don't want to bad mouth anything. For the girl, it's not bad mouthing Avon. The right, right. Time. Yeah, she's just she left me alone. So it's pretty cool. We all kind of work together. So, um, you know, you brought up the finances. Would you ever consider? Talking about it. I mean, oh, I don't. Here. I don't know. I'm not really a salesperson. Yeah. Well, then I want to draw my team. Yeah. I'm not a salesperson either. I'm so not then, how do you how do you sling your wraps? I, I just share it. Really? I just share it. Yeah. Because who really wants to be you know that person that's like buy this, buy this, buy this. Oh well, yeah. Nobody wants that. Yeah. I don't want that either. And I don't want that person on my team. So. Real. Get down from there. Get that out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need hey, a hashtag. My daughter is my Hold on, let me get. Oh, they're so cute. Let me take a picture of them. Oh, it's adorable. Oh that. my gosh. Will you send that to me? Yeah, sure. Wait, okay. actually, if you if, will you be my friend on Facebook, and then you can just tag me in. Okay, sure. I mean, yeah, you seem normal. So that's how you have <laughs> it. It's a normal conversation. But at that time, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep going. Like, if, if right. she changed the subject to her daughter, if that was her way of being like, okay, let's change the subject, there's my daughter. Um, okay, you know, then I, I'm going to kind of back off. So, what do you, you know, where do you live? That type of, I'm going to just find out about her. <laughs> where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> well, I bring up something with the girl that I met with. Do you have like an alarm system or? Stanford. <laughs> she lives in Stanford and she drives an hour every day because her daughter goes to the Olympic style um, gymnastics. Hi, Tina, if you're watching. So, you know, I was like, wow, that's got to be a lot of gas. You know, yeah. people ask me a lot. Um, you know, I, I tell my team all the time if you need help talking to your people, send me a screenshot and I will help you with wording it because I change my conversation every single day. Time I talk to somebody because yeah yeah please do you really get into the conversation that fast? Do I? Yeah. yeah. Because she just already asked me what am I doing? Do I stay at home? So I'm going to talk about what I do. So I do absolutely. I wouldn't come and, and say so like if it was like a so what do you do? I want to stay at home. And if I didn't, if I, if I, if, yeah no you're fine. There's tables table. right. This is my table right. But on this table where I'm doing my work. Oh I'm watching my here. There's my bag that says oh, it yeah. works. It's blingy, bright green little my little 100s list continual one, a binder, a blitz card. I set it up like I'm at an expo. This is my table, and I I do I sit, I set it all up really nicely. And I hope and I sit in the corner. I, I put it out there. You know, if I'm at the park, it's kind of the bench that I might be sitting at. I lay it all out like I'm waiting for that person to walk up, and we're gonna have a conversation. So. 
You gotta, yeah, you feel it. And again, feel it out. It's different every time because if she had asked me, what do I do? And I say, I'm a stay at home mom. And I don't go back and say, what do you do? She's not gonna be like, I work for it works. Yeah. You know about the crazy yeah. You wanna try one? You know, you, you let the conversation flow. And again, you change it every single time. So I have never sent out a generic scripted message to anybody because that's not me. And I had a complete sideline that I was talking to who business was just not going good for them. And I asked what they were doing and that's what they said. And I'm just like, that goes completely against your personality. Your friends can see right through that. I see right through it when you post about it. It's not you. If that's you, then go for it and do it. But if you are really, you know, be genuine. People can see through that stuff. And especially, here's a problem with that too, is that, again, it's not just it works. People are coming up with something original, and the next thing you know, a uh, unique rep is going to take it and just put unique in there. I, my newest distributor said that to me. She said you weren't she's, she's got a coworker who does it works. Her, her teacher's aide does it works. And she was actually her loyal customer. And she's got two other friends. And she says that she sees the same thing all day in her newsfeed from all of them. So again, you really need to pay attention to your audience. Oh, can I just? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know it's like I'm looking at my watch. I'm like, oh my god. So paying attention. I, we were talking about offer parties and like you, you vibe off of the people. Okay, so everyone has a bubble, right? If I get really close to you and that bubble is like, you know, I'm not gonna really want to get close to you. If every time I'm around you, I feel like somber. Just kind of, you know, fighting your bubbles all energetic and exciting, and you know, um, green and sparkly. I'm, in case anybody's wondering, so I'm doing a rap party, and there's one bubble right next to me, and it is like, you know, and I, you know, she didn't even make eye contact with me. She was facing a different direction. She looked like she did not want to be there. No, I don't want to rap. And I did the presentation, and you know what I did is when I got to the distributor side, I talked about me, and and my story hasn't always been like this story. But I said, this is the year I have to go back to work. And I got teary-eyed because all I could think of is, that's so true. Like, my husband and I agreed that when the kids are in elementary school, my, my time as a stay-at-home mom is done. So we can go back to living comfortably instead of paycheck to paycheck. And I got a little teary-eyed because I really feel so blessed. That's a true feeling. I didn't get all teary-eyed to make a show. I actually don't like crying in front of people. So I did. And, you know, little by little, her chair... <laughs> and her kind of rotated and she made me very nervous and then people started to talk and I just kept going I just just like we do here if y'all start conversing we're just we're not gonna stop I mean sometimes I'll <laughs> yeah. I used to be a manager and then I'm back in management like, yeah. me. you're on your phones guys it's so rude but no you're working your business so it's fine so but anyway so at the end of it she came up to me like she reminded me of Oprah Winfrey and all of a sudden I could see her face and she comes up and she's like I just want to tell you, you are doing a great job. And I was like, really? You think so? Because you made me really nervous. I mean, I'm going to be transparent. I tell people my first impression, and that was not a good first impression. I said, she goes, you got to just understand that at 5.30, 6 o'clock, people are exhausted from working all day, and the last thing they want to do is sit in front of a salesperson who's going to give them their pitch. And I did not want to be here tonight, but I wanted to support <coughs> my friend. So I came. But you are genuine, and I can feel that from you. And she, I said, that is the nicest thing someone that doesn't know me has ever said to my face. <coughs> and she, you know, she's like, you just give some people breaks. Do you have my friend on Facebook? <laughs> 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 there was already a DC there. But, you know. but I, but she, but it was, she complimented me and gave me some positive feedback. And I could have, I could have let that ruin my night. I could have done it a different way. She could have completely, but I just kept going. She didn't matter. In that moment, but she sure mattered afterwards. She we, we actually she made me cry, and in, in a happy way. And then she prayed over me, and then she said she wanted to get the greens, and but she couldn't afford it. I gave her like a bunch of a, a whole cat pile of them, and she's like, "There you go again. Look at you. Just another reason why I like you, because you're not about the sale. You want to help me feel better because she's on all these prescriptions. So you you just have to." Uh, well, it's awkward. Maybe in connection. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Somebody. Yeah, make those connections and go go off of how they're feeling, but continue. Like, don't let their response change what you planned on doing. Just like if we came here and five of you showed up and eighty said yes, half of the eighty are missing right now. Where are you at? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So 
you know, anyway, so just do what you planned on doing anyways. You show up to a rap party and there's one person. You go to blitz someone and they look at you funny. You you still do it the way you would have done it. And you never know. You might they might just be having a bad day. I'm learning, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I sometimes I judge, man. If someone looks at me funny and I'm like, hey, you know. <laughs> And I'm like, or sit with all the smiling faces and stuff. I'm like, oh, they must be mad. Why am I feeling that way? But, you know, give give a little grace. Some people are just having a really tough day. And may, you might be the person that turns that around because you're friendly and you're you. And you're going to get that being face to face. That's right. Um, you know, when you're having fun with this, when you're not having fun in this business, you're not doing it right. This business should always be fun. And you're going to have... Well, I say that with a great assault because you're going to have ups and downs, mm -hmm. days where you cry and days where you want to quit and everything. Mm -hmm. But it should be, there should, the high should be fun. The high should not be stressful. It's not, it should be fun. Um, what I consider fun, having rap parties is fun. All right? Rapping yourself is fun. <laughs> Seeing results is fun on yourself and your friends and everything. Yes, even blitzing is fun. I said I was going to bring this up again. Take your friend that's not in it works and you embarrass the heck out of them when you go blitzing. Like Katie said, her mom started like creeping away. It's hilarious. Take your friends out and see their reaction. But again, it makes it fun. It takes the edge off when you're out with somebody. Have fun with it. Um, you got to go out there and get rap cash because just having a good time with this and making rap cash is fun. Um, do what makes you uncomfortable and then laugh about it. Right? You guys got to be able to laugh at yourselves and laugh about it. Don't take yourself too seriously. So, um, Thomas already said their little song, I hate it, but uh, we, we uh, um, blitz and get paid, paid, right? So, don't forget about that. What does is, what is corporate always tell us to do? What is their big thing about telling us to do? Blitz, blitz, we, blitz, we, 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 why do you think they tell us that? Because again, that is the core foundation of our company. We can't forget that. Do what works for you, but do not forget to share that with all of your people. You guys are going to actually see a huge, fast return on your wallet and your promotions by incorporating face-to-face -face and belly-to-belly, -belly, whatever. And there's events, lifting, or parties, or all three. By incorporating that into your business, you're going to see a fast return, I guarantee. So, um, no more excuses on doing this, guys. Um, if y'all want to throw some excuses out to me, I will give you back a good answer. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you drove eight hours. But. Yeah, so what's an excuse to me of why you can't split or why you can't have a rap party or why you can't do an event? Wah, 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 wah. So everybody's leaving here with no excuses, right? <laughs> oh, I got you there. So... Oh, yeah. It's an excuse. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm going to say Apple Mall also, right. but um, I have a six-month-old. So if I go to the mall, that's my first problem. I don't know how to just walk up to people. And, I, and I'm and i not from Gainesville. So don't why go to the mall. Gainesville. Where are you going to go with your kids? Right. Huh? Yeah, where, where will you go? Is this, you said, is this your only child? Yeah, yeah, and I don't know anybody there. So, so I him. was in Tallahassee. Didn't know anybody there. Mm -hmm. um, I had two young kids. Um, Austin had just started preschool. I think Brielle was like nine months old. And, um, I, you know, would have my husband at home sometimes to watch and so I could get I me, mean, but then again, I have an extremely difficult daughter. So it was kind of hard to take her with me. But when I started going places like going to the mall, but I joined the mom group because I didn't know anybody. So I, when I was pregnant with her, I joined the mom group and they did meetups around town, somebody's house. Um, I would take like a perfect smoothie with me, you know, be like, gotta drink my protein shake, wear the shirt, I'd go, we'd have meetups at the mall, the playgrounds, I'd go there and just start, and just start interacting and talking, wear your shirt. Don't, again, throw it in their face, like, before I leave, here's my card. Just start building some relationships, but join, <laughs> joining some mommy groups, genuinely looking for friendships. Right. When you are genuinely looking for friendships and building relationships and not your next, you know, person, People will pick up on that like that. How far so, did you drive to get it? I was So, yay for that. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> so, but get, get yourself out there for sure. Just start building genuine relationships, and it will naturally turn into business partners and customers. Yes, Crystal. Um, another suggestion is practice with people that are working. 
is they have to talk to you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's their, it's their job to interact with you so that they can pressure off of interacting with a stranger. So if you have a cashier or you have someone folding clothes or something, try to make eye contact with them where they have to engage with you and be like, you're so friendly. Can I give you a coupon? So that way it takes the, it takes the pressure off. So practice that way. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Um, does anybody have a question? I know. That's a good one. That's a good one. Any other questions? Any other questions? I can't believe it. Oh, I have a question. Yeah. What about, like, um, have, have you ever, or has anyone, has anyone ever gone to, like, salons or chiropractic or anything like that and put a box out? Or yes, I have, actually. What is, what, yeah. Um, so what I made, made a really pretty cute box, um, and you've got your cards on there. So that's a really great thing to do. Again, game lead and whatnot. <laughs> One place is um, sometimes that, you know, if it says no soliciting, I don't bother the business. A lot of times go in there and start making conversation. Um, if it's somebody you know that works there, if you get a service on there, whatever, and you're, you know, just say, hey, um, I don't know if this is something you can do, but would it be okay if I brought in a little box with my coupons and leave it at the desk? You don't have to talk to anybody about it. You can just take one of my coupons and go. Nine times out of ten, they say yes. So put a box out with your clips cards, but you really want to just get the lead forms on there mm -hmm. and make it look fancy and say, you know, what a free wrap or whatever. They have to fill out the form, and once a week you go in there and you take out the lead and you contact them because again. It kind of takes the pressure off when you feel like, let's say, you have to be the one to approach this way. You're contacting them because they want what you have. So it kind of takes that edge off. But that's a really great way. So I'm really big, you know, again, I'm starting off with this business, going into businesses, um, asking if they would do, um, if they have customer service appreciation day. Can I come in here and do a wrap event and stuff like that? Getting there, that's a really huge thing. But lead boxes are a huge, awesome way. To get local leads, please sure. ask people about events. Yeah, ask them. True. I've been doing that lately, and they're like, "Yeah, we had a networks person, but you're in." Yeah, yeah. You know? Why not? Why not? You just come there, offer to wrap them up, or for free. You don't ask. The answer is no. Does anybody else have any other questions or anything? We're good. Everyone's like, I'm tired. Okay, you guys are tired. Um, if it's okay with you guys, I would like to end the meeting in prayer, though, if we could. Does anybody want to lead in prayer? But anybody, Amarillo was going to do that, and I feel really bad. Is Katie still here? No, she had not Okay. Um, nobody would like to leave in prayer. Oh. Oh, thank you, Chad. All right, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's going to be like third grade now. <laughs> Is it going to be like third grade now? <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> she's. Oh, she's. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Father God, thank you for just bringing all of us here. Thank you for giving us the, the words we need to speak sometimes, for leading us in the right direction. I ask that you bring those to our attention that you would have us speak life into, that, that need your light brought into their lives, that need hope, that need, that need peace. That need just someone to talk to. I ask that you lead each of us in the direction you'd have us to go to find those people, to get those people in our lives and bring your word to them to better their life. I ask that you keep everyone safe in their travels, that you keep everyone guarded, that the enemy has no hold over them, but there's nothing of this world that can overcome the promise of life that you give us in eternity. And I thank you and I ask that you bless everyone on the travel home in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys. Thank you all for having. Thank you. Oh yeah, we can agree with you. Awesome. 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 Those of you tuned in, thank you. Oh, <laughs> Back off, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, probably. Oh yeah. Up front. Oh wait.